Yes, we're live. All right, good morning. Hello, everyone. I have a method that I use. The louder or the more fun it seems people are having in the... Before I'm in here, I slam the door louder. That is something <laughs> that I, came I, loud I picked clear. up on that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. understood. Yeah. Yeah. I want to eliminate all joy. Almost like Mike's uh, appearance last night with Menders, which is a very serious. Oh it's always very serious. He's a uh, serious interview. I understand. It's on the Kirkman. We should promote it. The Kirkman. We were in this dual Menders and I for you for power of everything <laughs> on the uh, Kirk Minahan Network, and yes. it was just. I, I would love to blame you for it. God knows, but it was a very serious. Well, he's a serious guy. He's a serious interviewer. He is, as he as he exposed later in the episode, much like James Lipton. I would say the saddest moment was, for me as always, running this morning, listening to it, and Mike saying, you know, I wish Clem would back, bring back the 99 Mariners. <laughs> and while I was running, I said, I that was sad. And I said, actually, it's a 95 Mariners. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that loud. Yeah. I said actually. Too. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, I was on with those, I've had quite a weekend. I was on with those 420 guys. I heard for two hours. Is it really two hours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, well, what, 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 and those at, guys are brain dead, right? At one point, Pat from Amesbury left, one of the guys that I like. That's a shame. Well, And I said, hey, where's Pat from Amesbury? <laughs> and I could hear you asking, <laughs> is that the saddest moment right. of your life? It would have to be up there. <laughs> I don't know which one of those guys. Which one's the blind one and which one's kind of the... Chris, one's I think, of, is the one with one's the... One's kind of oh, dickish. Yeah. But, like, I, not the oh, bad I, way. I like both of them. Okay, cool, yeah, good. The okay. other guys are a lot... They oh, I don't know. throw a lot of wacky verbiage at me. Yeah, but. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't... Yeah, I won't be listening to that, probably. But I did... Well, I'll, I'll try it, but I did listen to this. And it was most of it, and it was very... And at the end, it's always the question that, that I always, like... Kirk's really softening... And I'm like, I fucking destroy the television in the studio. I believe that was my answer. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I'm not, I don't know what people, I thought, actually thought you did a pretty good job. I don't, do you want me to come in here every day and like rant about EEI and Murchison for three hours? Like, I, I, I have a boss I like. What do you want me to do? Oh, well, I mean, I have one boss I like. What, like, what, what would you like me to do? Right, well, I, it's, no, what would you like me to do? <laughs> oh, God, this guy's dang on edge. I don't like, oh, but I'm mad, I'm mad about something, but I'm all, but, I also don't, you know, I don't delve into, like in the past, if somebody had gone on an enemy show and hosted it, I probably would have kicked him out of the studio forever, but now I don't. It's interesting because then like, there's yeah, people that say, like, oh, well, what did you want from Howard Stern? He evolved as he got older. Well, I don't but feel it's like, no, that. I, no, but that's what I'm saying. Is <laughs> yeah. like, I see you being maybe calmer. And, like That seems to be evolving. Well, I guess when the situation rises, we'll see, but I don't. But if you were like, hey, Gus, buddy, great job today. Like, right. hey, well, you didn't do not, anything. Yeah, that that would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> you well, know? The start of it would be like if I was like, no, we never, I never did that. Like, right. like, like well, sure. of, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's not gonna. If you were Stern, is that how you'd play that? Because it kind of works. I guess for him, I suppose. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't be embarrassed. I'd be proud of what I did. He did great <laughs> stuff. Like he yeah. did great stuff. I mean, I don't like some of it, like the blackface stuff. But so what? Own it. Be like, yeah, I was an idiot. I was a madman. But like that was popping up again recently. Yeah, it does every you know, every like that. six yeah. months does, or something. Does that excuse play though? Those different times. It was a joke. I mean, it does for me. But like my thing is always like it doesn't. Like if, if Tucker Carlson did it, it wouldn't. Oh, forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I, I don't. Or or, uh, or if I did it, or if Jerry did, it, I mean, yeah. Jerry would do it in his private life, but that's different conversation. What's interesting about the Stern thing? Keep out, like uh, this weekend. Is I Jerry think. dead yet? Do we have an update or no? Jerry's not dead. Oh, yet. Montante might know. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I want a Twitter account. Is Jerry dead today? <laughs> Has he done a show since you guys did no. yours? No. No. Huh. Can I clear the air on that real quick? Yeah, go ahead. I think my Tante knows I'm still. I can make it yeah, yeah, off like smoking. Yeah. yeah. So Jerry, complete. I don't communicate with Jerry. Newsmax randomly emailed me and Craig saying, "Hey, we want two shows up just for just for the Seems advertisers." Seems to me, Mike. I don't know. Like of, the, all, of, of all of all the people in the world, they emailed you and and Craig. Well, I, I've been on there every once a week for football. Right. You know, that doesn't so. make more sense because I was like, why would Jerry want Craig and Montante to take that? It's not, like, it's not like Jerry's. What is that, Jerry? What does that mean? <laughs> it's not like Jerry's reaching out saying, hey, like, get, you know, get well, Jerry Steve. Could, Jerry could say no. Jerry doesn't say anything. Well, I know, but I mean, I would say no. Yeah. If I, if I had two, oh, if, Jerry, sure. if Jerry could create two characters and they, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No, of I course. I would say no, course. but yeah, go ahead. No, so so news and racks reached out and like, hey, whenever you have time, if you can do two shows this week, you just want to. Why do you have a bag like that? Get the, what's wrong with the bag? Oh, it's like it's like you're at a gym or something. What's in it? <laughs> I have my computer equipment, uh -huh. uh, notebook, okay, notebook, couple okay. pens. Is anything in that notebook? Some right? waters, not nothing, <laughs> nothing with uh, <laughs> pictures of dicks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right. Some I just watched that with uh, with Super Kate Hell? oddly. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Well, she's six. That's the right age. That, that yeah. Yeah. Holds yeah. Up it's still right weird yet. to watch with your dad. I feel like. Though. Yeah, but I'm I'm, yeah, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> the, uh, the uh, it holds up. I have to say, 
It felt long, though. Really? Mm. Yeah, for the first time since I, had, I was like, this could probably be... I don't... I don't love the party scene part. Some oh, of that's the periods. Good. I, I, it just gets long. It's I a long... I remember loving, like, Michael Sarah singing and that Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's yeah, funny. Yeah, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. The, I, it's in. Yeah. It's the classic. best. The best part of the movie is... um. Uh, no, I'm talking about the party with the with the oh the, right when right, they're right. with the, the older yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I actually think the best part of the movie, which I didn't think originally, is with is with Seth Rogen and um, Bill Hader. And Bill Hader, yeah, it's yeah. part of my favorite part. Those oh, two probably guys. so. Yeah, yeah. But when I first saw that was like that's funny, but it was sort of. I actually think that's like if those guys had done a, like a movie, just the two of them like that, I think I would have watched. That, that. could have been a decent spinoff. The way like Judd Apatow did like uh, better than this is forty. This is forty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah I think yeah. that would have been a be- a funnier. Spin-off. It's still a very. It's a very funny movie. It's very funny. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, of course. It's a great comedy. But go ahead. Please, clear the air. I'm not that. No, so that's all it is. Newsmax reached out when I have time. My okay, and I'm totally schedule. comfortable with the fact that Jerry, a bunch of people I created, is on Jerry. Well, I just, I I just didn't want you to think. I didn't realize that Newsmax emailed you. That changes I, everything. I, I thought you know, Note like, that, Mike. Jerry, I'm, I'm that be, Jerry's like the very, kingpin <laughs> sending me sending us clips to play. What's the name of the show? I always forget. The uh, Jerry Callahan Show. Okay. Okay. Maybe podcast. Forget what okay. Toronto recommended. That's true. It was a battle between. Those yeah, two. yeah. I don't. I, I feel like I would have a little more control over that. Yeah. Than Jerry does. Maybe. Do you understand? Newsmax came knocking. Yeah, email. Sent an email. <laughs> email. Well, then yeah. why is there one this week? Uh, well, we'll see how today goes. Um, I mean, is there supposed to be one schedule? You can do whatever you want. You're not. You're not working for the show. You can do whatever you I want. I think one tomorrow and Friday. So you're doing one tomorrow and one Friday. Yeah. Okay. Who's going to be on? Uh, Blind Mike declines pre-show, which I was joking with the record okay. show. Just, yeah. just, just Craig and sure. I, which will be easy to do forty-five. Jesus, yeah, that sounds dreadful. Little yeah. fly right by. God, that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I mean, that's your punishment yeah. to do that. Dumb yeah, I get, you know, get a little cash to do it. Not but much, pay huh? Hundred bucks show. That's not bad. That's yeah. not bad. So that's Producer tomorrow thing. and Friday. Yeah. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Uh, air is cleared. Then what else is going Thank on? Thank God. I knew that DM was coming though. I knew it was a matter of time. What? Checking the phone. Like, we're all set here. Mm-hmm. I knew that I just, I just knew it was coming, so I'm glad that you're so clairvoyant. <laughs> but I like about you too, as you're as we're going back and forth, you ended you're very snarky. You're very snarky. Go ahead. <laughs> like, like, oh, you know, I, I moved my schedule around. It was nothing about that, so I'm going to the you next moved game. Your schedule around? Yeah, because I was going to be in New England the last I week. I don't care about that. Well, the, you're you're like all good. Enjoy the game. That's Enjoy very, the game. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to say? What's snarky about? It made that? me laugh. It was good. Why you is that snarky? You don't want to actually enjoy the game. It's I don't. The, well, why? Just, I don't. Why are you telling me about the game? I'm saying I move my schedule around. You, I, you move your schedule around. So Montanti is like flailing. I send him a message. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot for going on Jerry's show. And Montanti is like, well, I move my schedule around. It's a Knicks game. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <I'm doing laughs> Who cares? Because you that? had a tweet out the day before saying that so beat, the, I beat the New York Knickerbockers last night, Coleman. That yeah. I canceled. On not, not uh, doing this show, Coleman loves mm-hmm. watching those men go up and down that court. <laughs> no. Court, oh, court, 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 court yeah, matters. It's not me. I, I think yeah, he's projecting. I heard all about <laughs> this. Huh? I heard all about this last night. The, oh, the, the many theories that Menners has. I'm down. I'd love to have a gay producer. That would be great for me. Make you almost had one. Oh, I don't Something know. to say, boys. True. Fucking call up Quinlan, or <laughs> well, are, you, are you are you are you denying your homosexuality? Yes. Okay. Well, you might be yes. the last to know. What do you think, uh, Gus? I don't think he is. Okay. I've been here long. See, clear ass eater is on my side. I'm grabbing his prick day and night. He's not giving me anything. Well, Coleman's edgy, so I don't want to get in trouble with the gay community either. Of which we used to have an ally producing, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do that. But anyway, so the game was last night. Yeah, I actually didn't end up going. Why not? The guy who had the tickets didn't get the tickets. That's the idiot. Uh, he gets him. He gets the drip guy. Yeah, uh, yeah okay. Mima. He gets him. Oh, through I thought you talking about the idiot who calls Kyle? him the show. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. So he gets him through work, and then I guess he didn't claim him in time. Someone else grabbed uh, him. Did himself. you go, Coleman? Yeah. From Kyle the Ticket Guy? Yeah. Okay, good. It's good. good. As long as you had a good time. Tough tough loss, but. Yeah. What time did the vlog drop yesterday? I uh, didn't need to finish it out. Okay. The game was good, though, last night. Oh. Eh, it was okay. Okay. Yeah, but the, but the vlog didn't go up. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm. Gotcha. I need the game to, was good, though. Yeah. I gotcha. mean, it was well, okay. the Knicks lost, right? Coleman could have been better. Yeah, could have yeah. definitely been better. Yeah. But well, who'd you go with? Round it out. Uh, Big Pete. Who? Big Pete. Oh, one of the crew. I brought him up, yeah. Oh, nice seats. Speaking of, uh, it was like balcony level, but oh, okay. it was like yeah. high above. Yeah. Um, okay. He said the Celtics look great in their outfits. No, but they did. <laughs> also, update for Gus if he wants. Uh-huh. Uh, Friday night, if he wants to go out with the boys. Oh, boy. I, I love you in? Know. I'm in. You're in. I'm in. They're Friday down. night. They're Friday down. night. Wow. Okay. Yep. Sleepover? Uh, depends. I mean, I don't know if I'd even be sleeping over. You sleep at Colby. Crash at Coma's <laughs> place. Yeah, if you need to crash. Where are you guys going to go? Probably just in Southie or something. Jesus, what yeah. a night that's going to be. Yeah. Going to Stats? No, probably. I've, I've been going to like Broadway recently. I bet I'm you an, I'm an old man. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's a
<laughs> he loves a show. He does. He's a showman. <laughs> You ready for this? Can you handle it? You're an old man, Gus. I can handle it. Okay, these guys are older than the usual college kids you hang out with on the weekend, though. You're random <laughs> no, different no. universities. <laughs> it's the alumni I'm hanging out with. The alumni, okay. Mm. How did it go yesterday with you? Good. I went to seven different uh, subways uh-huh. on the way home. Okay. And I put together... I figure it was on the way home. Yeah. I figure it wasn't here. They didn't come to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> the first thing that jumped out to me was actually there's a lot of, like... Sandwiches? It, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Swerves all over the road. Owners <laughs> of Subway. Like a, lot of, what? a lot of workers, and I'm assuming like owners of these Subway franchises, they're all of like Indian descent. You just realized this. No, I mean, going through out of... Easy, so, Montante. Man, <laughs> convenience stores. Yes. <laughs> You're never going to believe it. It's not like all these dry cleaners. Eh? <laughs> uh, but I, I noticed... Um, Weird thing. I'm looking at the 100-meter sprint at the Olympics. There seems to be a pattern here that uh-huh. finishes. Go ahead. Um, so as I got, I got some sound from each store because I had to put my male figure skaters. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What no, so what he that? found is they all run grow <laughs> operations, actually. <laughs> well, what I learned was if, you, if anyone who was of Indian descent, they always just pointed me to a sign that was on their window that uh-huh. said herbs and cheese. Whereas a, a, every single time, every, uh, every single time with an Indian person. Okay. With the uh-huh. two stores that I found that were of non Indian. the exact descent. opposite of Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Chris Nolan heard this story and was like, I have to, this is my next movie. <laughs> Here are my findings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you went to, so an enormous sample size of seven. How many were owned by uh, people, would you say, of, of five. Indian? Five. Of five. Indian descent. Of Indian, Hindu, Middle East. Sure. No, uh, I understand. I understand. Yeah. This is exactly like a Morgan Spurlock document. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Um, so, and then there was also two closed locations I went to. Well, okay. They were in the, they were in the, I put it in the GPS. Yeah, so sometimes like, that happens. I've had that go yeah. across country where you come up on one and then it's closed. Yeah, yeah, so there were two closed ones. So you went to seven and two closed ones. Seven and two closed ones. So, so nine, you went to nine. nine seven total. were successful. 77.8%, seven, seven. I'm going to say that is what that is. It's right? also right. interesting in this uh, discovery to find. Is that right, uh, Coleman? Is seven out of nine, is that 77.8%? It's got to be. It sounds right. Okay. What? Got to be. Feed it all like that? Yeah, that's got to be right. Head. Look at yeah, that. seventy-seven point eight. Okay, there you go. He can fact check the, uh, <laughs> the website I mean. that puts the subways up. Yeah, the amount of subways. That's true. That's true. It's a good point. You know? Okay, go ahead. So with the ones that were there, they didn't speak. There were two: mm-hmm. one in Brockton, and one in Bridgewater that were of uh, non-Indian descent. It's really troubling. Later on, we find that he was actually just going to J.C. Penney. <laughs> Every time Gus is uh, explaining one of these things, he sounds like he's be, uh, like be, being deposed. It's true. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's not like you yesterday in the interview. <laughs> the, the, the subways that are of non-Indian descent. This is what I. These are my findings. <laughs> Which ones were cleaner? The ones Indian or non-Indian? Oh uh, the Indian ones. Yeah, I yeah. believe that. These guys don't fuck around. They were very yeah. clean. Yeah. Um, yeah. For that, and I got some sound. Uh, uh, first from <laughs> no? okay, it was a good run. Yes, Hank Azaria is doing the voice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sounds good so far. Uh, it's it's tough because I had to have the phone in my pocket. Why? Because they the people did not like when I would come in. This is a top secret investigation. I, I find it very unlikely <laughs> people even cared. Uh, Who's calling now? We have a caller. Uh oh, tough. Well, we'll see who it is. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Kirk. It's Adam Richmond from Man vs. Food. Oh. oh, sure, Adam. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. I just wanted to check in. I'm uh, boarding the flight, but I wanted to touch base real quick. Uh, remember that show I did, Man vs. Food? Well, you mentioned it earlier, Adam. Yeah, sure. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was talking with Guy for it, Fieri. So uh-huh. He's boarding the flight behind me. Mm-hmm. And uh, we talked. We couldn't. You couldn't believe it. The diners that we went to. Yep. Most Mostly Greek. <laughs> wow. I knew that. Get out of town. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Crazy. Was All there, right, let me get back to it. Did you enjoy the, the game last night, night, Adam? Yeah, no? Yeah, I saw some disturbing videos. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later, buddy. Have a good flight, Adam. I'll see you later. I hope. Uh, okay, so let's get to the sound. I just kind of had a quick question for you. Um, the bread, <laughs> is it mean? Italian herbs and cheese or Italian herb and cheese? Hold on. With- How amazing would that be if somebody just guy pulled out the gun and fucking shot him? He <laughs> <laughs> just blew his brains out. <laughs> it also sounds like he's trying to set up a joke. Like, yeah, right. I can't jelly my dick down your throat <laughs> or whatever the fuck. Say, actually, the sound is actually pretty good. Yeah, way better than I expected. Yes, go ahead. Herb and cheese, with or without the S. Herb and cheese. Herb and cheese. Herb and cheese. Herb and cheese. Herb and herb, and cheese. Herbs and cheese. He was an S guy. Herbs that's a, and that's cheese. a guy? So with the S? With has the S on it? Yeah. Alright. Oh. Awesome. 
So that was <laughs> he awesome. <just> leaves. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> on, on to the next. How about the one you guys you guys had lunch together yesterday? Herbs Which, and cheese. Herbs and Boy. cheese. Um, right, right. But the guy. Right, Which one did you go to? Uh, the Watertown. Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a good one wall thing. The owner's very nice. He'll, he'll he make he always make sure my bacon is extra crispy. He knows oh. that. We have a connection. Not gonna lie, my stomach's been in shambles since since that. Like Rod Stewart. Uh, typical queen. <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been rough. Really? I think it's a little weird. He's going to fucking Subway sandwich. What, what I don't know. That? What'd you I, have? I, Italian herbs and cheese. Oh yeah, you, you gotta do that. It got yeah. to me. Do you have uh, uh my brother Ryan has whatchamacallit? If he has like uh, bowel Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. I can usually tank to throw the pill in. Like Taco Bell never hurts my really? stomach. Really? What? I can just devour and be good. Another wow. thing I've never had. No. Really? I've never, Taco had Bell. Taco Bell? never had Taco Bell. Oh. Never have. Oh. I don't think you're missing that much. Oh, you're no? missing no. everything. You don't like Mexican food in general, do you? That's not true. That's, that's not. That's, I'm saying it's not one of your favorites. Okay. Wait, what, do you, what do you want me to say? Mike, okay. <laughs> There's another question there. You're not James Lipton. I know you want to do this. <laughs> What's your favorite? Is there a party that takes pride that you've never had it? Like, that's why you're not yeah, trying it? Yeah, it's a big it? part of my. my oh. uh, well, I get every day. If you think of. This is actually, honestly, like where I grew up. In uh, in Bill Rick and then Winchester, Taco Bell was not super prominent in this area. I believe that it's become more so. They yeah. had one in. Thank you, Mike. They had one in. Uh, <laughs> I've seen more. I've seen more. Guys, guys it checks out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they had one in Burlington later, but there was never any in Winchester. Like Winchester's a town where they didn't have stuff like that. Mm. So same with Wendy's. That's sort of the Wendy's thing. If there was a Taco Bell, I got to tell you, you've had a complicated relationship with Chipotle the last year or so. Again, way more skimpy. I agree with I mean, that. And if you, if you order online, you're Hill fucked. One. No, I wouldn't do that. If you order Disgusting. online, you're dead. I would, you, if you order online at Chipotle, you're a fucking moron. Yep, they do yeah. real you, deserve, you deserve what you get. Yeah. This, yeah. this feels like I could have a lawsuit on my hands of oh, sorts. Right. I've been into a Chipotle, and usually if I'm going to Chipotle, I just like the, the quesadilla. Bowl. Oh, the quesadilla, yeah. Quesadilla. Yeah. And if you go in there now, they say you have to order. Uh, you can't order that with me. You have to order on the app. Yeah. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Which one? And I say, I'm a blind man for God's sake. Sure. Which one? All Any of them. them, all of them. During oh, really? COVID, a lot of them had yeah. that policy. Like you Even go like in a there, burrito? or just no, it's specific to case of Why is that? I'm I don't no know. Idea. That's insane. Yeah, I don't know. Why is that? Why would that be? It makes no I sense. I suspect Gus will be spending <laughs> the afternoon <laughs> finding out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, I've had, I've it. had uh, uh, like at night after I have Chipotle, like every half the time, just indigestion, bad. Like, it's just you know, and you're just burping it up all night. I don't yeah. need that. I don't Sorry, hate Mike. that sometimes. I mean, I don't need hate little little flavor coming back to you. What's that? What you, if you're feeling like you're gonna vomit? Well, yeah, that part's not doesn't sound appealing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I have a pretty basic order, but I don't. I used to love Chipotle. Like 15 years ago, it was a revelation. And yeah. Now I'm like, I'm, I'm sort of. Kate mentioned it the other night. She said, "You want to go?" I was like, eh, "Not Sad. really." Yeah. I don't also, like their that. hot got really hot. I don't. I, know I'm not going that near. Yeah. 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 Insanely hot. I think it's the chicken is seasoned burn. perfectly. They're what? Chicken perfectly seasoned. Yeah, see, for me, the steak is either it's just right or it's a disaster. Oh, uh, when it's dry? Ugh. Well, yeah. When it's like fresh and it's like rare? Unbelievable. Which is like, you know, you see the guy slicing it up. If I yeah. worked at Chipotle, I would have definitely cut like four fingers. Oh, oh you yeah. got it. It's crazy to run around with those knives. Jesus. Anyway, I don't mean to get in the way of your research, Gus. Go ahead. Oh, so right. here's here's uh, one of the better visits I had. This is one of the. This is one of the better. Ones. <laughs> yes. Do you think top, it's weird that he's not seven visits? <laughs> Do you think it's strange he's not buying anything when he goes in? He bought one at the first place. Yeah, he bought one at the first place. I feel like you had to buy something at every place. Well, right. like, even like a water. Why? He's just going in there being weird, asking these weird questions and skedaddling. <laughs> yeah, but what, 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 what do you know, but want him to do? Get a bag of chips. Uh, if you're working in a subway, that's one of six stories you have at the end of the day. Yeah, some, really? Some I mean, creep walked I in. Say, I don't think I was the weirdest thing that happened to them. Uh, the don't sell yourself short. Go ahead. Is it Italian herb and cheese or Italian herbs and cheese? Because there's, there's a staunch going back and forth fight going on right now. There's a what? A staunch, a staunch going, going back, back and forth. And forth. <laughs> there's a staunch going back and forward fight. All right, yeah. go ahead. Take two. What are you trying to say? You'll do it better this I'm time. I'm saying there's a staunch debate happening. Okay. Well, just, there's just a debate. Yeah, just a Yeah, the staunch fit there? Staunch. I don't know. <laughs> Unhealthy debate. All right, go ahead. <laughs> it gets weird that there's a... There's like a Frasier show on, like, I just don't even care about it. Like, it's just on right now. I know. And I heard, I, I saw, I, I, I fell into one of these, like, threads message board thingamajiggies about this. When it first came out, they said that the, the, I might even mention this in the show, that there was a big room at the finale of that first season, which is going to be a big Cheers reunion. Yeah. I think you might have, you might have said the first episode, I think. No, I think, oh, well, I thought it was last, but oh, okay. I, don't Maybe the last. I don't think that's happening, so. Ah. Uh. That's weird because I, uh, a buddy of mine watched the first couple episodes and I said, is there like a big joke, like Cheers is closed or it's right. a hipster bar? He's now in so Boston now. They don't 
Right. Like, they kind of make a vague reference to, like, oh, I used to drink here. But Wouldn't you just go there, like, once in a while? No, apparently not. No, I'm saying, but, like, in real, like, in reality? Yes, yeah, of course. And you'd, you'd, you'd hit up your old friends. I met, like, assuming they're still alive, Cliff and Norm would probably still live in Boston. You yeah. know, something like that. I mean, Sam would be there. I would think. Yeah, would, did, you, did you just mention Fraser? Yes. What the fuck does that have to do with Cheers? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Just. What are you talking about? Fraser who? Todd the show, like, with the Kelsey, with Kelsey Grammer? Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, that, no, no. What are you talking I'm about? I'm just mentioning you, other sitcoms. You think like. fucking Fraser's somebody with Cheers? That's what I was confused. You, you fucking you, idiot. That's confu- I agree. That's what I'm asking. Anyway. Right, okay. I, I should have kept my mouth shut. That's me. That's me. I'll say that for tomorrow. Yeah. I, might, I might have said it inelegantly. I apologize. Sorry. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> just derailed everything. So. Shit, what was I going to say? Or you, Carla or whatever. Yeah. We could have this conversation all day. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> Frazier was on Cheers, you idiot. I didn't know that. A, yeah, but why are you so upset then? It's, it's a spinoff. It's like the most popular spinoff ever. It's probably the most famous spinoff of all time. I just thought Frazier uh, was a vehicle by itself. It probably the most famous spinoff of all time. I yeah. no, news to me? I like I Frazier. I think it definitely is. I'm trying to think even would be in the conversation. Better Call Saul and the Jeffersons. Yes. And yes. I feel like I'm forgetting something obvious and it's going to annoy me. Look up the most famous spinoffs. That's in that uh, tier. Call that would friends with. Uh, I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put Better Call Saul just because it's different. Like thirty million Americans watched Frasier. Sure, if you're you know talking I mean? sitcoms, then I would say the Jeffersons. Just even like, uh, yeah, for sure, the Jeffersons. I mean, uh, Cosby had one, right? Is a different. The Facts world of spin-off. Life had a long run. That was a different Stroke spinoff. Um, Benson. Benson. Maud. Benson was a spinoff. The Facts Maud. of Life. Uh, I wouldn't put Maud. Maud's just not as famous as those shows. The right? Lone Gunman. No. No. Uh, Xena, Warrior Princess. Definitely not. Melrose, Melrose Place. Place. I was about to say, yeah. but I wouldn't put that. That's just now to an O spinoff. I would not put that in the category. And also, I would, Frazier, to, I would say Frasier is probably number one. But here's also what you have to consider: famous for being a spinoff. Right. It's Frasier. You know, you've never watched Cheers? No, I just know Frasier by itself. I had no idea any connection to. Uh, Why'd you get so worked up then? Different world. I, news to me. Different Fucking world. Idiot. You mentioned Cheers, breaking. you bitch. Yeah. Well, okay. What did uh? Didn't Kelsey? Is he secretly like conservative? Like I, you keep every once in a while, I see a story come out. Is that what you wonder about every human? Being? I have no idea. <laughs> I think he is. Though. I, th- I think that sounds familiar. I don't. Know has he done anything that. since uh, Frazier? Uh, you think he's a conservative? Well, he's in the well, new, saying, he's in like, new is, Marvel. Is there a reason he's why he's not? In, he's in like the X Men spinoff. He, well, that's coming he out. had. He's on Frazier right now. Like, what else do you want the guy to do? He's in like eight shows. I'm saying he's. I haven't seen him on much. He because was because he's there's secretly conservative. You think? Yeah, yeah. You, that, that'll be the deciding factor if you get a job or not. He was, yes. he was probably like 10 years late on that. I remember when I was in college on FX, they kept promoing a sitcom. It was uh, Martin Lawrence and Kelsey Grammer. And the whole premise of the show was like, do you guys think a white guy and a black guy are <laughs> going to be able show? To, to work together? Yeah, it was like the, the practice or the law firm yeah. or something like that. Really? And it's like these two guys, can you believe like Kelsey Grammer is going to have to work with a black guy? <laughs> I have no memory of that. <laughs> and I, I think it lasted one season, if that. I saw yesterday uh, season five of Bob Hart's Abishola coming yep, in. That's unbelievable. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that show's still them. going strong. Good for mm-hmm. them. You're back to the right horse. <laughs> <laughs> in fairness, Kelsey Graham is only on Cheers for 11 seasons. So. Okay. Yeah. It's easy to miss. He's only played the character for, you know, like 30 years. Well, he was only on like eight seasons, right? What was his name on uh, Cheers? Yeah, that's true. Eight or nine? Oh, no, he's on for, for nine, nine, nine years. Was it literally Frazier? Huh? What? <laughs> What's his, what's no, he changed on the spinoff. <laughs> Everyone just thought it made more sense. What kind of question is that? Right, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, I'm playing the same character, but so it's not for, confusing for anyone. I'm going to change my name yeah, to Frazier. Yeah. Would Would Curb be considered a no? No. 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 I guess not. No. I mean, he's playing himself, but it's not a spinoff of the show. Yeah, but it's still a world where Seinfeld was a part of it. I guess. Are they bringing so, Seinfeld back? I just saw yesterday uh, Jason Alexander please saying please, he had please, no, so we, no idea. Don't, don't do this. Today. So I played a clip like a month ago. Oddly, it was posted by Linda Pizzuti, I think. But it was uh, Jerry was in Boston, and someone yelled out a question about the finale of Seinfeld. And yeah. Seinfeld goes, you know, what I can tell you about the finale is that something is about to happen with that that hasn't happened yet. The commercial or something? My Probably. speculation was a Super, Super Bowl commercial. Up. Yeah. He's, but, he loves doing shit like that. Yeah, he, loves, they, he loves doing commercials. He said, he, he said me and Larry are excited to do so. So it's them working together, okay. I guess. That won't be funny. I mean, no. I all, all the characters that. look pretty much the same. Huh? I don't know about that. Michael Richards looks the same. He's like, and he's Jerry like, looks the same. Jerry does not. If you watch, you say that because you see him all the time. Yeah. If you looked at a picture of Jerry Seinfeld from 1995 and today, you would say it looks like him, but he looks older. Julie would drive okay. the same thing. She looks great, but she's yeah. older. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, think, think, I think it'll. Jason Alexander though. looked old when he was young, so he probably. Yeah. You know what I mean, they have yeah. that. I even here, I think he looks a little older though. Yeah, it was thirty years ago almost. Yeah. Would I watch what? Like if it was on next week, you're, you're, you're oh sure you're sitting down and start to finish. Well, I will say this: if they came back and said, "Hey, we're bringing the show back," yeah, and we're doing like eight episodes. If the first episode, second episode stunk, I wouldn't watch you're the out. last six. I'd yeah. watch all of them, but I, I would be disappointed. I have no. I would have no. Seinfeld was always smart about that. He and they did it perfectly with Curb. Like, there's no reason to really bring that back. That was my whole yeah. thing. Is like, why would they do it? They've already done it right. perfectly. They they dragged that out a little too long on Curb. The whole Seinfeld, uh, uh, but second last season. season they were, yeah. you call it, you call Curbed. <laughs> curbed. Well, curbed. It's, in the, it's in the past. Curb your enthusiasm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not curbed. Well, it's instead of saying the whole thing, it's like because then your enthusiasm is curbed. Okay, I apologize. You understand what that means? Yes. You know, do you know what curbing enthusiasm means? Tame it down. Yeah, that's, that's Team, right. Oh, oh, you're not, oh, I thought you were asking me to do it. Oh, no. Well, you did ask what Frazier's name was on, on well, Cheers. I didn't, you know. So you didn't watch Cheers? No. Okay, you watch, did you watch the podcast or listen to it about Cheers with Mike and uh, Chris Clummer? Uh, I missed it. Okay. Wow. So, missed is it. it still out there? A little hurtful. I'd imagine so on the... Kirkman and you guys recording network? one? You come and swing by Friday after the show to do an episode? Or no? He hasn't contacted me. You guys should do the finale. <laughs> you know what I mean? You I'd, just I'd, do the last one. I'd be happy to. The last episode. That would be good. The new star of the uh, YouTube channel, Steve from Providence. Wow. Yeah, it's you, they, Steve, and uh, Chris doing the, from episode Steve seven. Steve on it? Wow. Steve wow. from just, Providence. Friends, Romans, what a fr Well, we wanted a big get for the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite actors in the final season cheers. Tom Berenger. Oh, yes. He is. He's uh, uh, Rebecca's uh, husband eventually, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, so anyway, back to this Italian herb and cheese debate. That. Herbs with an S. Had, had, were a lot of people, like, drop the S? Um, yeah. Yeah? What, what, would it, what do you think it should be? Should it be have the S on there or no? Herb and cheese. You want a fucking turkey sandwich or what? <laughs> <laughs> that was very much the vibe in the first place. That place like, they were like, that place just buy something. Yeah, I would agree. Herb and there. Yeah. It just flows off the tongue better, Italian herb and cheese. It just does. Sure. Italian herbs and cheese. But herbs well, and cheese makes more sense to what it is. Correct. I, I'm not disputing that, but I, that's where the debate lies. Is it just it just flows off. It's like uh, Kirk Moore versus uh, uh, Rush Kirk. Rush Kirk. Rush Kirk. Yeah. yeah. Italian yeah. herb and cheese is what it should be. Herbs? I think. You want the ad? Okay. Because it has more oh. than one herb. <laughs> ah, that's it's poor people. And if you said herb and cheese, it sounds like urban cheese like uh, well that's what's a point. urban cheese what, that's, that's a good question what is <laughs> and Gus is like well according to ownership it seems like that's kind of what you guys are going for <laughs> yeah. how old is this person uh, this woman looked like to be in her 40s okay. 50s okay alright so you didn't, get, you didn't buy a bag of chips or anything? Right? I did not buy a bag of chips from her. Okay. All chips right. good. Every other one, I just Which one to, was that? That one was in Brockton. It was in Bro Boy. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. And everything else was what? Everything else was, so there was uh, Newton, Avon, Newton, Watertown, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, two in Brockton. Two in Brockton. Oof. Those, uh, those might be urban cheese. East, Br yeah. East Bridgewater, <laughs> West Bridgewater, and Bridgewater. Okay, and there was a consensus, you think, or no? There's a consensus that it's an S. Okay, well. All but one. All right, because well, Sam doesn't agree, but all right. Yeah, well, that's and fine. Sam. Hmm. Only 11,000 to go no, is the yeah, good, good yeah. get there. Good get there. Well, good job, Gus. But in the uh, in the writing or whatever, like on the signage, it, it was consistently herbs and cheese? Yes, on the, on the signing, on all the signs in the store was signing. Herbs. Signing, sign, okay. signage. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You got uh, there. <laughs> signing, signage, <laughs> sign. Yeah. All of that said herbs and cheese yeah. on the website. Well, that's what it is, probably. The yeah. website says what? Herbs and cheese. But there's another page that says urban cheese. That's what I'm saying. This so, is the debate. This there's is the always debate. that little. I, if I had to say a definitive answer, it's herbs and cheese. It sounds like it. But there's there's that wiggle room that I can see. I wouldn't order. Time. How did you say we guys ordered it yesterday? Herb. Herbs. You said herbs. Yeah, I said, you said herb. herb. You too. Jeez. Wow. Hey, Montante, if urban cheese could talk, what would it sound like? <laughs> well, I'm not going to do a dark uh, cheese your buddy. Yeah. I'm, I'm all set on that. All right. What else? How much liberty like, do you have as a franchise owner? Like, Can you like throw a little item on there that's maybe no, not? No, 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 no. No? No, definitely not. It's Subway? You don't think you like, get approved? Like, hey, we want to do one of these. I think they get the. I think they get sent down. This is what it is. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, how often have you seen the yeah, the, the, the Jerry on a subway menu? I don't go to. I don't. Well, well <laughs> I don't think we're we we for this. Too much. You don't go to the subway? No, fuck no. Okay, but I'm saying, how many franchises do you go to? Where you see them go on their own. We, that's a good, good question. Not many. None. I'd yeah. say. I would say none. none. That's, not, that's why it's a franchise. <laughs> yeah. If you had to own a franchise once you're done done here. Which one would you I can uh, tell get you one that Jerry Callen and I were talking about? Uh, look, we looked at. Uh, we had a meeting with people. It was Chick Fil A. 
Really? Ooh. Yeah. I get why Jerry would want yeah, to Jerry's do Jerry's very excited. <laughs> Maine. We, looked, we were looking at the potential place in Maine. This is five or six years ago. Wow. <laughs> they yeah. do have some uh, international menu items, though, for Ooh. Subway. Yeah, oh, I can yeah. see that being a little more flexible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We looked oh, at hello. it. It was, it was, it was interesting. Seafood sub in Russia. The place, where they, the place we were looking to get it was, I thought, a good spot, but it wound up not happening. So, Where, ah. where would it have been? In Maine. Oh, uh, yeah. What, what part of Maine? Like, um... It's the Arundel-ish exit off of 95. There's a used to be an Olive Garden that spot, Ooh. and it was right very. It's actually a busy spot. It has a Five Guys. It has a Firehouse Subs, which I like. A bunch of places in that area. I, I just don't know year round. How much would it be to uh, start it up? I forget. It was not is that cheaper than you think. Yeah, it is. It is. Wasn't Chick-fil-A. there something though with Chick Fil A where you have to have, be in the restaurant business for X number of yeah, years? Yeah, there was some, but we can bring somebody in who's done that. Gotcha. There's that whole sort. Then you get that guy. You know, I, I don't know. Who knows? We were brought, uh, David from Hull. We talked about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, he's got the experience. Yeah, yeah. that would have been interesting. So you guys would just might be, be tough now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David Hall would come and literally call everybody by their name forty times. Oh every time no, walked in. Yeah, that's Fair. honestly par for the course with Chick Fil A. If anything, what's that? Just overly, overly yes, polite. That's polite. what I like. Yeah. I like. I was saying this to somebody the other day. I like place. That's why I like. What's well, one of the reasons why I love the Masters. Augusta National runs a place like a Swiss watch. That's why I, I, I'm not a huge Disney person, but Disney World is interesting to walk around and see how they run the place just like that. Oh, yeah. And Chick-fil-A is like that. Certainly. It's perfectly run. I said at the beginning, if Chick-fil-A did the COVID thing, do, the thing would last two weeks. Yeah. Is, they must pay okay because it's amazing to get fast yeah. food workers that abide that aren't, by that. They don't high on heroin. Yeah. They're polite. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah, good. yeah. They're friendly. They're nice. They're clean cut. They, they do it. Yeah, exactly. It's great. Great. The great. And for as busy, you, you could be stuck there for a while. But for as busy as they are, they're pretty quick. Yeah, I think they're really Very quick. quick. Yeah. yeah, I think they're super quick. I, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm never there that long. I, I haven't been there in forever, but yeah. What's, what what's your Chick fil A order? Uh, grilled, you definitely get the grilled chicken sandwich. Grilled chicken sandwich, yeah. 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 Number five, is it? Number seven? I forget what it is. Yeah. Stephen had a lot of Chick fil A in South Carolina. Jesus, a lot. Uh, what else is going on? We have episode two of Steve from Gloucester dropping this morning. <laughs> Oh, I didn't. I didn't even see this. This yes. is nice. yes. I missed this. Is this. Brand new. Oh well, boy, am I gonna have to handle this? Deal with this or no? Uh, it's it's just an interesting insight into a man who's going into the biggest moment of his life. Eleven okay. minutes long. <laughs> Eleven minutes long. Short. Do you you heard it, Mike? I heard a bits and pieces, and then is it wow. weird in the first one or no? In the sense, so it's ten <laughs> minutes long. The first <laughs> seven and a half minutes. <laughs> Are about the Sopranos. That is, weird. Then, that is actually and, weirder. But, yeah. And then, and then, as Gus pointed out, he's making this these analogies about like the family and what like Christopher and and Paulie's relationship was and all mm-hmm. that. And he says, uh, "What was the line, Gus? It, it was, was like it's uh, you have a, well, 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 yeah." So we'll be here from the start. Let me hear from the start. <laughs> Two topics for this week. The first, remember the last thirty minutes of Sopranos. <laughs> And Tony was outside Satrial is talking to Paulie and trying to convince him to become take over as right the, yeah. the new sill in yeah. the family. I remember that, um, Steve. You know, <laughs> Tony's family at that time was decimated. They had just whacked was Phil what? Decimated. 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 Come on. So food. they shit themselves? <laughs> it's defecated. Right, okay. <laughs> But there was a lot of. Yeah, I will say this: like I was going to mention this to Steve, but he's, I don't think he's going to show up on Thursday. Montami's best friends with him, maybe. Oh, really? More than mm. Yeah. Well, he messaged me. Uh, sure, <laughs> he said, uh, "I'm in Thursday." And I was like, "Okay." He's planning Great. on it in the <laughs> end of this episode as well. When I grew up, the two heavyweight champions of my youth were Larry Holmes and then Mike Tyson, both of whom have lisps. I guess that's true. Yeah, which uh, maybe Steve's tough. Uh-oh. I don't. Yeah, yeah that's what maybe I'm you're in maybe for a man. Maybe he's here to fight. You know, you oh, may man. know this. <laughs> you may know this. So uh, from the basic your from the basic form of a lisp, is it more mental or is it like a physical condition? I would think it's. I don't know the answer to that. Montante's early research on this was asking me, Coleman, and Gus as mm, if we yeah. have any insight. Um, <laughs> you, like you can you can fix a lisp. Oh, Shut sure. I, I, I'm, no I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Is I always say like if certain people were six four instead of five eight, they'd be different people. Yeah. If Steve from Gloucester didn't have a lisp, I think he'd be a totally normal person like i think Probably as a kid so, yeah. he's older than i am right i would think yeah uh no think, uh, he looks not, probably not much right I'm 50, 50 so i would think 50s yeah. okay so like he all right i'm guessing like he was teased a lot about that as a kid oh, and yeah. he wasn't maybe a parents who didn't weren't vigilant about because harry yeah. had a lisp he's a little kid ah. so. but it, but it kind of went away whereas his didn't i'm guessing and maybe that's i mean you're guessing that's a Fair assumption. Well, maybe it's worse, but uh, sure. but yeah, maybe it defines who he is. I think. And it's, I mean, it's funny. He right? well, listen, it didn't stand out enough for your, you know, lunch at Chili's twelve years ago. It's true. I was a lot longer twelve years ago. Twelve years ago, I was at EI. This was like twenty years ago. So <laughs> it happened. 
This is when Rob and I would. Yeah. You, you think there's a small chance it didn't happen? No, I, I believe because Rob and I, when he used the Gloucester, uh, run the Gloucester paper, I did like freelance. Like, we would go out to lunch and occasionally it'd be somebody you worked with. I, if you mentioned Phil Stacy, uh, who runs the Salem paper, is a great guy. Like, I believe he was at a lunch at some yeah. point. You know yeah. what's great? I bet I'll you, I, I I bet you he, he seems like a guy that eats lunch. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> He's he can, having lunch at the same time somewhere. <laughs> I guarantee you he can recite your entire order too. He's one of those guys. Like, oh, Kirk, remember you got the X. Oh, yeah. When yeah, I say yeah, I was a nobody then, I was a nobody, nobody. So I don't even know. Steve believed in you. Maybe so. That's true. Go ahead, Steve. Sorry. Uh, so no, here, Steve, not you. Go ahead. <laughs> and you have to wonder what the Sopranos family was going to look like mm-hmm. if Tony made it out of the diner. Is that what starts? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. This, okay. The I, Sopranos I, are the first six minutes, I would so say. I'm six six so as a listener, I'm expecting a payoff and a tie-in to the Kirk <laughs> Minahan. Show. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm guessing that's definitely going to happen and be perfect. And everyone's going to say, you know what? This guy made a lot of sense. And, I, Go ahead. and let's say he did you know obviously guys like benny and walden and little polly would have got <laughs> bump ups sure that's natural and polly would have ran the crew for tony patsy would have had a big role some other guys as plus well. patsy's uh uh someone's marrying meadow so I'm saying he would have got a bump up. Oh, oh, okay. The fuck are you being so defensive? <laughs> <laughs> so, so? I just didn't understand. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying to have a conversation with Steve. I don't know. Is that crazy? I didn't mean to get in the way. No, it's okay. I understand. <laughs> but what would his crew have looked like? And with Tony being so impatient as he was, going to be able to deal with a new crew? Was he right. Be able to hey, it's him? all making sense. That's last week, right? Conan, gone. You were Steve gone. gone. Perhaps <laughs> impatient with your new guys, right? right? Uh-huh. You think so? <laughs> new crew. Show them the ropes and put up with the ups and downs and, and learning curve that would happen. And you know how impatient... I just picture Steve in his house having a heart attack by himself, right? <laughs> he somehow gets the 911 call. And they come, and he's, he's, like, dying. He's seeing the light, and he's like, do you have any final words? And he's like, number 10, I'm in a fan. <laughs> and he just dies. <laughs> he's fitting. And the doctor's like, yeah, I think so. I could see that. <laughs> Tell Kirk, it's not too late <laughs> to abandon Trung. Trung felt. <laughs> <laughs> Can I call my Tante on the phone one more? <laughs> they say that... My Tante talks on the phone with this guy, right? 40 no, minutes. No, no. We've texted a few times. <laughs> okay. He's, he's what? Huh? He's not as... Uh, I heard everybody on, on my, all these shows this weekend saying he's a great guy. He's a great guy. I mean, like... Sure, he's he, a nice Is he a guy. great guy? Like, I he, think so. Is he not a psychopath? <laughs> well, you can, you can be both. <laughs> Mutt, le, Mutt legitimately yesterday was like... I was talking to him, and he's like, I'm actually kind of a little concerned about doing this show. <laughs> I'm like, that's a pretty natural way to yeah. think. You're like, what's it's pretty sensible. What's hilarious, though, is I predict it'll end up being, you'll Mutt will get a shit on much more than Steve. Oh, yeah. Steve will be I'm the gonna, star of the day. I'm going <laughs> to guess that Steve from Gloucester doesn't think us talking this much about Steve from Gloucester is over the top. Oh, interesting. <laughs> what do you think, Montante? You may be on the sub. Well, you can't. I would say you, can't we've, you don't think it's too late yet? I would say <laughs> we've talked more about Steve from Gloucester than Trung. And yeah. his defense, just a you guess. can't get canceled for Steve from Gloucester. That's the true. The Lisp community. Yeah. No, no, one, takes really, really, no, no one takes him seriously. Well, they, if they write, the obviously, if they write letters, if they try and do it verbally, <laughs> they would ever no get, We'd all be in hysterics. Did you ever get the endorsement letter from him? What? I thought I had the producer search locked up. He reached out to me. He's like, "Hey, just so you know, I think I didn't receive such letter. Fuck, that's why I didn't ah, get the job. Damn. Oh, I didn't know that. Did he send it here? I don't know where the fuck he sent. So Colin A just trashed it. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, we get a lot of crazy letters. I'll say that. Sorry. So uh, back to the American uh, uh, mafia drama series that they ran on uh, home box office, Sopranos. Yes, which yes. I've watched. I'll, I'll admit I watched that. Now I'm, I'm over. If Mike Imperial only wants to reach out and. Have and apologize. I'm open to that. Would you have Mott again? Of course I would. Yeah, of course. Would I'd you bring be. that up and being an episode? Yes, I'd be like, you're a real dick. You would. And there's a zero percent chance. I've softened my like, <laughs> zero chance I would do that. No, there's a zero percent chance he'd be playful about it. I don't know. Like, he can't look back to reflect and laugh about it. It's he weird. Just, there's times like, like he was on the office, like fucking around. Like he seems like he could be play. He was playful. I was going to say it would depend on how you approached it and also his uh, mood. I, I think, wouldn't be dickish to him yeah. or anything, but like I mean, the guy's doing NBA commercials right now. Let's not make him sure. all, you know. <laughs> all right. Go ahead. Was he could snap <laughs> at any minute's notice. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> we're, we're waiting somewhere, right? <laughs> 
you know, lose patience with them. What was going to happen? But of course, he had to continue. It's his family. <laughs> I mean, he had to keep the money flowing. <laughs> so it was definitely going to be a tough thing for Tony, you know, to to try and and, and figure out. And when I look at the New England Patriots, I think... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? what? <laughs> what? Not everything's about you. It wasn't about you. <laughs> <laughs> it was about Bill, Bill Belichick. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Good curveball, Steve. That's, that's six and a half minutes in after listening to the whole Sopranos family breakdown. Huh. Well, wait, here's Patriots take now. Go ahead, Steve. feeling when it comes to Robert Kraft. <laughs> Who's know, Robert Kraft? I guess Who's Tony? Tony? I guess Tony. Tony. Who's Tony. Belichick? Christopher? What? Oh, uh, no, Belichick was Pauly. Pauly in this yeah. house? Belichick's Pauly? Yeah. I guess so. Jeez. <laughs> well, you're out. <laughs> okay, all right. Family, leader of the organization, and he's got an older guy in Bill Belichick like Tony did an older guy in Pauly. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and he's got a, an organization that has been decimated over the years. All of the star players are gone. A lot of the coaches left. The talent hasn't been fulfilled. The coaches on the roster aren't that great. And a once proud franchise is now two and eight. And there are fran- fans burning. At a recent Comic Con, ask Mark <laughs> Raymond. <Raymore. laughs> <laughs> Jerseys asking for Bill Belichick. If you're waiting for the turn on this one, there just isn't one. He's talking pigs the rest of the way? But no, no, so... No. <laughs> All the way till seven minutes. All the way, but it's just does, he have, a, does he have a take on it? No, it's That's just kind of an abrupt, like, hey, here's the analogy. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, is he, but he's saying that they should get rid of Belichick? Should no. they... No, no he, let's he's let's just listen stating the, the whole uh, situation. Like, do they... <laughs> You know, keep Belichick around. It's, I don't think that he should fire. Yeah. Never has a, like a, he just never has a, other than this hatred of Gus, he has no take on it. <laughs> Fair take to have. <laughs> well, well, I agree what, with that. What he's doing is if you care about the New England Patriots situation and have mm. done not one moment of research about it, you're he's kind of lining right. up right. Yeah. What, what just happened. But if you haven't watched The Sopranos, though. Uh, I think he fills you in pretty well on that, too. <laughs> How long is this? Uh, ten minutes total. Like ten minutes, Oh, yeah. that's it? Okay. Yeah. This is like seven and a half minutes. What do you think oh, the no, topic no, no, no. is? This is my favorite show on the network. Three minutes in, This is definitely my this favorite show. three minutes? What? Yeah. <laughs> three minutes in. This is my favorite show on the network, for sure. Yeah. All right, when he gets <laughs> to you, that's seven and a half minutes. <laughs> Are yeah. you kidding me? Yes. Yeah. And my, guess no... is, my guess is he's going to be like kind of a do the Steve, like, oh, we're having fun. I don't know if he makes it through the whole show. You don't think so? I think there's a chance he gets up. Has that ever happened? Yeah, well, yeah. kicked even, Mike even, out before. Yeah. Chris too. Yeah. Huh. Chris. Uh, well, Justin. No, no, will I don't, be no, no, no. So, so. no. Def- oh, Justin. I don't think, Justin I don't think you out. kick him out. I think he's like, all right, we're, I'm, like, I'm not having fun. Like, I'm, not, I'm out. Just gets oh, up and goes. Yeah, I think those are the only three. Anyone's welcome to do that, I suppose. Huh? Well, yeah. Justin and Clemmer, the only bad boys. Clemmer that have taken you on. I'm sorry, Justin. Oh, I just did that, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Justin, I think, will be lurking around. Yeah. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. Yeah. I had a hot take on Menor's program about Justin. I didn't hear, oh, I did hear this, yeah. He's going to wind up being number two eventually. I said he could surpass me and Steve at some point. He's definitely number two. <laughs> when did he go to Chicago, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard much about that. Neither have I. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> well, I like Justin. Um, what did Trump say that time? I'm a po- I'm a po- a I like you. I like you. <laughs> oh, but I like, but I like you. <laughs> but I like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's too bad those goddamn votes from that river. Or you're the president again. Trash cans. <laughs> listen, we may, like you said, we may get it this time next year. I am listening. You said listen. I'm listening. What he, happened? Well, he may be president this time next year. No, he will be. President. Roughly, yeah. No, it's a that's a Kirk Minahan guarantee. Yeah, he's gonna be president. And by the way, yeah, I, and, I'm, and I'm probably gonna endorse him. So wow, that's a listen. New Hampshire used to be a swing state. It's not anymore. Bring it back. Not gonna happen. He's gonna lose New Hampshire. I think. I think. I don't know. Go ahead. So I'm sorry. Back to Steve. Um, so we can skip through the Pat stuff and get more towards the... Fine, uh, I guess if that's what you want to do. Right? Right. It's, it's pretty rambling. Right. It's just I, I, same I, stuff. I doubt that. But okay. Let's get, <laughs> let's get, let's get, you're saying the stuff about the show. Yes. Okay. Eventually. Um, is his face here this time? Do you see his face? No. His no. Face is, oh, no? No, I because... His face was how are we going to handle this on Thursday? That's the answer. Or or uh, well, <laughs> this is what me and Menders discussed, where it doesn't make much sense to have him edited out of the video, and then he's just going to come in here. For two hours. <laughs> None of it makes sense. It's that's that, that sure. famous <laughs> statue in Gloucester of, like, the guy driving the boat. That's, oh, okay. That's yeah, the yeah, image yeah. that he gotcha. selected now. Good. Oh, okay. right, Good. right, right, right. Okay. Forward. And, yeah. 
Is he holding <laughs> the franchise down? Is he sabotaging the franchise what? now? Maybe. But why are we going to question a man who brought so much greatness That's to the take. franchise? And why That's are we going to question I suppose. a man? He's on my who, side with this one. So I think we can question him, but well, I don't want to. I don't want to. To the country, to, fight to the him. world, to whatever. To the country? Hey, save it for Let Thursday. Those <laughs> to the world? <laughs> <laughs> and be happy with what he decides. What would you think, Montante? Is a, you're a Giants fan, right? Jets. Jets, oh. What would you think if today the Jets announced, after all these years, it's finally happening? The Patriots have fired Belichick. We're hiring him to run the whole organization. Uh, it would be the best day of my yeah, life. Yeah, you'd still be excited, fan. right? Of course. Yeah, okay. He's right, the best right. coach in team sports history. I agree with that. Yeah. Me, you, and Steve agree with that. Yep. Mike is on the fence. Yes. No, I agree. No, I don't think so. Come on. Go ahead. I was invited to the Kirk Minahan show this Thursday. Excuse me, it says show. That, that's normal. Show. He nails show. With that. He struggles with Gus. Gus is tough. Gus. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Maybe mentally that's part of it. Because it, <laughs> it worries about having to say like Gus. Coleman is safe. Dave is safe. Oh, Steve. Yeah, go ahead. And I accept. I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you've got me. Uncle. <laughs> go ahead. It's a great opportunity. It's my first time in the studio. And I look forward to meeting... Gus <laughs> Oof. and Coleman yeah. and Mutt. And I haven't seen Kirk since the vigil. So oh, it was the vigil. That was nice. I thought he was going to say Chili's in that spot. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> He's excited to see you because. Nice oh. to catch up with him as well. <laughs> it'll be, it'll, it'll be good, good to catch up. It will be good. If I want to ask you, over or under one and a half times in studio. Ooh, interesting. I'm taking the over. It's a good line. Under. Yeah, I don't use. I just think he's like. I. I don't think he's gonna be here on Thursday. I'll. I'll go over. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna yeah. be here Thursday. If you said to me half, I'd go under. I worry. Really. Mm. Yeah. Over half, under one and a half. Steve, don't disappoint us. Did you make a bet how much snow there was gonna be this with an old man or something? What happened? Yeah, yeah. Just we were, we were talking. <laughs> the whole yeah. thing. Under a foot for East Providence. Is, Who'd is you my, make this bet with? Lock. Uh, Dave's father. How proud he must <laughs> be. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, you two idiots. What is his story? Is he one of these old Portuguese guys or no? Yeah. yeah he's yeah, funny, yeah. though. He's much funnier than Dave. I I'm think he'd admit that, that, too. I'm sure. So he, he, the old man is saying more or less? Well, he was talking about how uh, I think he has some action. He's making some money if it snows, whether it's, I don't know what it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I was like, oh, yeah, well, it doesn't snow anymore. He's like, you want to bet? I was like, yeah, under a foot this year, guaranteed. Oh, you're gonna. I, lose. You're, that's a good bet. For I me. got under two inches of snow last year. In know, but you're, but it's Total. different there. You're by the way. But still, what did you guys get? Like, I think like two, three feet last year. Yeah. Usually. No, really? Yeah. Oh shit. I mean, one storm is <laughs> seven or eight inches, and you're then you're in trouble. Yeah. Oh, well, should have done a little more research. Into is it. he saying you're saying in that what town? In East Providence. In East Providence. Underfoot total. Okay. Wow. Well, how much snow did they get there last year, uh, Gus? In East Providence. I'd rather have him try to formulate a, some. Yeah. Formula to get there, then actually look it up. But. 44.3 inches. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's this a lot. Is even money? Huh? Even yeah. money? Okay. And this is a bad And bad last bad. year was like a low snow year, right? Ain't that yeah. much last year? Yeah. Jesus. Having under two, it was just, I like, if it's going to be cold, might as well have some snow. What's the point? Yeah, you said it, friend. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> no, are you sure? We can- and I hope Dive into that a little more. we can continue the positive momentum we had in the last <laughs> <laughs> This guy's a gem. He really he is. <laughs> you and Steve have been working together in lockstep. Momentum to what? <laughs> the common <laughs> goal that you shared the show. What was that again? It just a you know, Gus free environment. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Go ahead. I hope we can continue the positive momentum we mm-hmm. had in last week's phone call. <laughs> and I thought the phone call went well. I mean, certainly we threw a couple shots at each other in the beginning. <laughs> Just two guys. Boys back working. and forth. But you, you came out equals mm-hmm. in the end. No question. Poor therapist that I hear about this. Conversation went on. I felt pretty good once we were done. I think Kirk. I believe he was hung up on, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> well, yeah, you know. I feel pretty Clarified good about it. a couple of statements, a couple of questions that I had, and I really got off the phone feeling pretty good about it. I mean, now I have to, you know, go into the studio, which I absolutely want to do. Is there a more entitled fan base in the world? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? 
I mean, hey, Patriot fans. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. It's about but, time I finally got my voice heard on the show. <laughs> even like matters who I like, because I'm with Mike yesterday, like complaining still about like, like these people just whine and bitch and moan. Well, with Menners, I think it's a bit at this point. Like when he says, I, I would be his, his producer, well, I think he's like that's joking, right? That's yeah, a, yeah, no, yeah. he definitely means that. 100% that would never means happen. that. Would never happen. <laughs> you, two years ago, you would think that would be happening right there. Yeah, but like Menners isn't funny like that. Like Menners, like there's a funny thing to Menners, but like Menners. James Lipton boot? Oh, sure. I don't even know if he, he reaches the top of the it. desk. That's the other thing. Yeah, he was committed true. to that He's bit. He's a high chair. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that James Lipton thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, certainly when I asked another question like that, and right back into it. I was like, oh, he's doing all 10? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was two. Uh, uh, I did enjoy his delivery, though. Bro. Your so favorite Steve, curse word. So Steve is here Thursday. Yes. Okay, with uh, Mutt. Well, it's much like the perfect guy for that, for some reason. <laughs> it's a I, funny I, image. I bet Steve's going to be a big Mutt fan. Oh, for sure. In fact, I'm going to think that Steve might like it better if you went back and uh, some more investigative stuff. Sure. And then every once in a while, you know, why don't I have a battle of the brainless with Mutt? Oh, yeah, you like that? Yeah, that would work, yeah. I think he might enjoy it. I can that. always shit on Mutt. <laughs> what was that, Steve? I can always shit on Mutt. Uh-oh. That's common. <laughs> battle. That's going to be... <laughs> So episode two of that is up as well. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. I have promoted. Stuff. I'm sure it's got many, yeah. many, many views right now. Let me he see. also uh, he also says he's not bending the knee. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Um, I was concerned. He's not a one trick pony. What's, what would <laughs> that trick? That. <laughs> I don't know. Fifty two views as of five hours ago. Okay. What is the? Uh, yeah. What would that be? I don't, I don't even know. That's that's just his, line. his one trick. Good mm-hmm. down the road. You know, I don't get. And- he was a writer, right? That's how you guys went out to lunch. He worked at that newspaper. I, be, I probably did like high school lacrosse games, I guess. I don't know. Well, I'm saying like, sometimes he's like kind of illiterate. And the, the letters to you, right? Does he spell a lot of things wrong? Yes. Like, yes. I get well, why. you have uh, you know. editors for that? Yeah. 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 Also, this episode, didn't he, he changed it to Steve from Gloucester? Oh, we made it more like that. Yeah, that's oh, fun. GL got the last. That's yeah. like when uh, Steve Carell like fixed his hair and everything right. as Michael Scott. It makes yes. him more yeah, like him. Right? Yeah, it's better. Yeah, the test the test test scores were low. With yeah. <laughs> too long. Jesus. All right. Well, so Steve is here Thursday. Okay. Yeah. What else? Uh, I have some uh, Toucher and Rich audio from yesterday. Uh, going back and forth, it was um, uh, Toucher talking about how he didn't know Rich at first. Right. Um, and then going into um, what he kind of, or what he texted him recently. Oh, and, sorry, when and I talked to Mike yesterday, Mutt's like, just so you know, just so you know, like he was in that EI office. Mutt is very worried about these, his sources being battled <laughs> by the Cullinanes of the world and the Chad Finns and the Boston Radio Watch. Mutt is now on an island. But where was Mutt? What do you mean? What offices were he in? He, he would, I asked him yesterday, he would not say anything. <laughs> nothing course. to say. Did he mention being yeah. a little uh, hurt by you just absolutely... Demolishing the idea that he could get a job <laughs> no. in the radio He's again. He's used to that. By now. <laughs> really? I say, no, I'm not saying he could get a job in radio again. It makes no sense for 98.5, who are get huge ratings. They have people in house to reach out and get a guy who would not flow with Fred Toucher at all. Who in fact like lost to Fred. Tuch- like it doesn't makes no sense. Why would they do that? Yeah, because you like him on this show. Like it doesn't make any sense. Well, I've, I've never heard. I don't, I don't know Boston radio. I'm just saying. He's I thought, terrible I on the radio. <laughs> See that that come right there. <laughs> well, he's just terrible. Like, unless he's with me, he's an absolute. He's never done, drawn a number in his life. What do you want to say? Like, <laughs> I, just think, true. I, just think, I just think that would hurt Mutt. And I thought I'm, he'd sure, that up. I'm sure it hurts his feelings. What do you want me to say? No, I'm just curious. He did the midday show with Lou. It bombed. They they were gonna fire him. I saved his job. He went to nights. Uh, he then went to nights and nobody listened to him. I started putting him on the mornings. He got. Good numbers with us because we're having good numbers. I left. He didn't win the mornings with Jerry. The ratings plummeted. He went to nights. They again. He's, somebody saved his job. His ratings there stunk. He hasn't done afternoons yet though. No, he'll 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 ruin that at some point somewhere. <laughs> Do you think he ever gets back? And any, any any no no any form of radio. Oh, uh, it seems like what he's holding out for. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's I mean he's bad, but everyone else is bad too. You could put him somewhere. I mean, he could stink anywhere. Well, that's why. That's why I didn't think the Toucher and Rich thing was that ridiculous. Makes he no would sense. be. He would be. A, he's a rich type. But they know? have. He doesn't produce. Yeah, but don't you bring a guy John like Wallach. Mud in John so you can, you can is, lowball these people? John Wallach is like that's who Mud is. Right. Yeah. But if he went on, that's like this. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, shut up, shut up. I want to clear some mud. So mud will hear. Mud's a poor man's John Wallach. <laughs> doesn't he hate John Wallach? Still? Yeah. He's not going to like KMS quotes. He's not going to like Oh, you know, KMS quotes. He's listening. <laughs> Mutt's listening right now. Uh, Have you talked to Jim Murray at all since he had that little episode a few weeks back? What episode? Episode. Where he had the little oh, the freak, weird interaction the freak out about the Zoom Rich. meeting. That's Joe Murray. Yeah, it was Joe There's Murray. There's multiple yeah. Murrays? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Joe Murray. Have you mm-hmm. spoken to him at all? 
I've never spoken to Joe Murray in my life. <laughs> Why would I speak to him? I don't know him. Different guy than you're thinking. News right. to me. All right, learn a little bit of Fraser. And then. I'm sure anyway. what to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to say. News to me. Okay, there you go. Uh, what were they talking about? Uh, so first off, here's the caller saying that uh, he was surprised that they didn't really know each other. Yeah. Which was the big topic from Friday. And, uh-huh. I, and I heard you talk on Friday. Yeah, you did. I knocked it out of the park, did I not? <laughs> you crushed it. Do you know how much, how many people from the business were like, Fred, class act? Fred, you're awesome. Do you know that? Do you know that off the top of my head, I did 20 minutes and be about, the, about the rich not being on the show anymore, and people were like, you're a class act. Maybe they will be in trouble ratings with us. <laughs> he, don't, he didn't share his personal life with me really at all, less than any other person I've ever met. And when he got, when you got, he got mad at you, he didn't tell you. He did other ways to Holy get shit. the message to you that he was mad at you. It's weird. It's almost uh, like I said that months ago, yes. no? Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. Fred, I'm sure Fred didn't go more in than that, right? That's probably about as far in as he went on that. No, he kept. Oh, he did? Yeah. I mean, so he won't be able to help himself. Like he's over the months while, because people are going to text that he's very sensitive to Fred. You're going to text say the show sucks with Rich. There'll be that crowd, yep. naturally. He's not going to handle that well. I think that's why, too. Like We always say, why do these like radio teams break? And everything? It seems like, they're for whatever reason, the combination is always one guy who's more passive-aggressive mm-hmm. and one guy who's much more direct. Right. And, and I one think guy's that's more talented. Why. Fred's more talented on air than Rich. Like, I was more talented than Jerry. Like that, that, that is... Yeah, he brings that up a little bit throughout. Yeah, yeah maybe that's... So, like, what you know about him as a listener is kind of like what I know as about him as a dude that worked with him. And I don't think, I mean, John, do you feel like you knew Rich really well? Uh, we used to meet right before the show. Like, I'd come in a little early and we'd talk a little bit and he would tell me about what his kids were doing. Yeah. Um, I like, will I say, if, if I was going to give Fred advice and he's doing fine without me, I wouldn't kick him when he's down. You know, now yeah, it's getting to fair. like these sort of like now he, he's going to turn people against him when he does stuff like this. Like you can be on, be honest, tell stories, but don't dance around it. Like tell specifics. Don't do the whole like, you know, I would say, but you know, I don't know. Right. Well, I, it might come up more. It depends on where Rich goes. I think how much comes. Like If I was rich, and I heard this. I'd be like, I, I, I'd go to the morning show and say, listen, I'll take a base of 80 grand. Incentivize me to the moon. That's I'll what I mean. I, I think if they're competition, then Fred starts unloading. But if he's doing music somewhere in the yeah, afternoons or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Well, know. it sounds like Fred's ready to go already. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Sounds good. <laughs> Rich. Rich made doing the show really easy, and I love doing the show with them. In fact, we did text each other. As a matter of fact, Rich, Rich reached out on Saturday, and I told him so. I told you want to know what I told him. I'll tell you. I won't tell you what he told me because I don't want to break his trust. That's fair. But I'll tell you what I. What'd told you him. text him? I'll tell you what I texted. And him. will the show be this one personish kind of thing? It's what it seems like. They're they're just kind of giggling yeah. and laughing along to. They, have, they should so. have somebody come in and just talk about like leaf peeping. Something like that, you know? <laughs> There's a market for that. Yeah, somebody. I don't know whoever that would be. I don't, I don't know who that is. That, that's what's weird though. Is like if you had Mutt or uh, Hardy or mm-hmm. whoever, is Toucher going to look at them as a equal co-host? No, you but, know? but I don't think you looked at Rich that way either. Like I think Rich was like an in the, in the, sort of a like a exaggerated producer. I guess, but they were the show, and I'm sure they were making similar money. Yes, if not I'm equal. sure they probably. That's where it gets dicey. Once I saw they weren't, when, once I found out they weren't doing their contracts together, I was like, this thing's fucking over. Yeah. Because once Jerry, I mean, Jerry and I never did because we, I jumped in on the show. You know what I mean? Like John right. and Jerry would do it together. So yeah, I don't know. Jerry's contract now must be sick. <laughs> I made mean, more than the, probably in a month he does in a year. <laughs> but anyway, who, what? <laughs> good math. Who, Jerry? <laughs> no, I'm saying that's good. That's in your yeah, favor. That's yeah, good math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate to see that. I hate to see that. Uh, yeah, what else? This is Oh, okay. Oh, um, you got more from him or no? Yeah, uh, he talks about the actual, like, text exchange itself. It's all about the so Rich sent me a, a short, nice text, and I said, and this is what I said to him, quote, Hey, so good to hear from you, as I'm sure you heard. That's the thing I always send to my friends, uh, I'm sh- just kick off a text. <laughs> so good to hear so from you. So good to hear from you. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sure you heard that I had no idea that Thursday was it. I definitely would have said goodbye. I'm very grateful for our time together. Thanks so much for your hard work. Even at the end, at the end, the hours of six. Okay, to okay, I don't care. Yeah. That's a Jesus. weird goodbye to a Jesus guy Christ. you've yeah. known for 20 years or whatever. That's know? what I said the other day. Say what you want about Jerry and I. We went and did the show the last show and we fought for two hours. It was yeah. crazy, <laughs> but we did it. Yeah. And on the air, he's like, your podcast is going to fail. And I was like, your your show's going to fail. So that's kind of. Is that how, anywhere? 
What's that? Like, can you like pull that from the archive oh, I somewhere? No, I have no idea. I don't know that. You got me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they wiped all the old stuff, right? I think. I, no, I you know. can still get some. Oh, really? And then That's there's funny. some on YouTube over the years. Yeah, I, think so I, I did know. that. I was texting with Feidelberg the other day during that touch of the other day, and he's like, and I was like, it's crazy I did that job. Yeah, these guys are doing like going wild. Wild. very that's, strange. That's crazy. That's probably, that's probably like, five years ago. You still like, right now, like this week. I saw you do what radio. Not really. I, I I would like to win again at it. Like just if I could just jump in for a month, but I have no zero desire to wake up at four thirty and go in and talk about stuff for four hours and have program directors and salespeople and yeah. Here I have no, none well, of that. Well, that's why none. you're setting up like a, you can set a smaller station where you don't have that. Where you kind of yeah. just left right. They're gonna pay me you know eight hundred thousand well, dollars. No, then I'm probably all set. <laughs> So does money mean that much to you? No, but it means something. Uh, it doesn't mean anything to you. Oh, I don't have any. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to wake up every day at sure. four o'clock and not get paid for it. Yeah. You know, I'm just not interested in that. So no, no. I mean, and, and go and go do what? I don't know. Like, I, like, I loved radio and I did it, but like, I don't like, I would, it'd be fun. I hear that and I'm like, well, this show, this show right here would demolish that show in two seconds. Like in the book, I would, we would we win that rating. Yeah. But, That's, but so what? That's when, I, when I'm in the area. I do listen to. I do like sports talk radio. Yeah, I listen to, to both stations, your old station and then, uh, the one that's actually doing well. Mm-hmm. I think like the Michael K show is ten times better. I don't. And that show's terrible too. So I mean, yeah, I mean they're you know they're all terrible. I He's mean, being yeah. punted on the radio signal, which is yeah, kind of crazy. Okay, what do you want me to say about that? <laughs> how expensive can a fucking radio? Fucking I mean, how do I know? I don't know. Not a lot. Uh, well, well it also doesn't make money. Yeah, I mean there, there's a reason why they did it. I suspect. I guess I don't. know. I mean, how expensive can a fucking radio signal be? You got me. But again, that, I, that I don't know. If it's not making money, it doesn't matter. I feel, like it, has, I feel like it has to. That's really how it Why? starts. Mary Ballsmith from our friends over at Manscaped. <laughs> yeah. The holidays are approaching. Uh, it's good. I can trim some of this gray pubic hair, Mike. Yes. The holidays are approaching. But what if I told you the celebrations are starting early this year? It turns out the perfect gift does exist. Uh, the Manscaped's brand new performance package 5.0 Ultra featuring the new Lawnmower 5.0. Watch all your wishes and mistletoe kisses come true. You a big Christmas party guy, Montante? Or? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I like, really? A good, I like a good holiday Christmas party for the you know. And you workers. say Merry Christmas, right? Of course. Damn right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. He's one of those guys holiday. that said, yeah. "Hey, Merry Christmas." Yeah, yeah. and you're like, oh, "What are you yeah. talking about? It's April 14th." <laughs> so what? I'm making, a, I'm, making a, I'm making a point here. Making a stand. <laughs> how many Christmas? How many Christmas parties will you go to? Uh, Alex's family's. Who's inviting you to these things? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, but I mean, like, the, uh, like a, a holiday for work, work one. Yeah. You yeah. have one for that? No. Yeah, but that's a little more formalities you go through. I like I like a good family get together. Sure, Christmas. I've never been to like a Christmas Eve. Barstool Christmas party. I think they I went one? to one. I never. You've been more than me. I've never. Yeah. Been, I never been to. A, I never went to an Entercom one either. I think I did. So you've been to more Entercom yeah. Christmas parties than me, and Coleman's been to more Barstool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Who's the guy that gets too drunk at the Barstool Christmas party? You think Carl. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, uh, he wasn't in the New York one though, so I wouldn't know. Um, Carl gives off weird energy. Oh, super! I don't he, dislike it. I like Carl. He did the last week where I saw him in, in a video for Barcelona Chicago. It's, it's a little man on the street. I don't know. He just does have weird. He weird was energy. at the studio. He was at the, the office one day during Surviving Barcelona, and I was like. This guy okay? Some yeah. strange yeah. energy. I don't know anything about him, but like if all those Chicago, which everyone says like the Chicago guys are the nicest guys ever, if they all have an issue with you, it seems like probably yeah. you yeah. might yeah. be. And I, I've always got along great with them, but I just was, yeah, it gives us a strange, that'd be my guess, no? Who, yeah. Was there somebody there, Coleman, or not? No, I can't really think of anyone that was. Boy, Sox Dave, but I feel like that's on brand. Over in Chicago also. Clemmer? I don't know. No? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. Ooh. That no, was my, that no, was my no. That was my big takeaway from the Manners thing was uh, Mike hates Clemmer. What do you say? Hey, that? Did you hear that? No, that's not yeah, I picked true. up on a little bit. That's hates, not true. Oh, You'll stop. never address him. No, <laughs> no, that's what I mean. I'll I, never address him. <laughs> <you. laughs> Pussy. Not you, true. You, you, think, you think Clemmer thinks he's better than you? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah he you does. You hate him for but he d- No, I don't hate him for it. Okay, forget it. But he does. He, I mean, he thinks that, of course. Yeah, I, but there's a there's a dislike. I, I, I could sense even the tension. Eh, a dislike, maybe. I'll give you, but not hate. Okay. Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 ear and nose trimmer, which I need. I I, I gotta get the scent because I have hair on my ears all the time now. If you know this, by the way, Kate and I have a bet. I'm not gonna cut my hair before the end of this year. Oh. It's about as long as it's been for me in like 15 years right now. I'm not saying as much there, but for me. How long will that be you total by the end of the year? Huh? <laughs> How long will that be total that you've been growing by the end of the year? I don't know, a couple of months. I feel like a goddamn hippie already. Wow. Saw so a picture hair. of you with the uh, the video yeah, with the beard yeah. recently. Yeah. That was wild. Look good. back. Look good. I don't want that anymore. I can see with a yeah. good stash. I have it. You no, I know, but I'm saying, but like, where you're committed to it. 
Why don't you just go with a stash right there? You have a good mustache with it. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I look creepier than I even do right now. No, I don't think that's true. Yeah, oh, well, maybe we'll give it a shot. Are you going <laughs> to shave that head at any point or no? No, nah, we're like... No, we're there. Four... We're there. You're there. I'm not. <laughs> no, but you're... But no, I'm holding on. Your, head, your hair is there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not. Okay. By 35, four years. It's going to be gone in four years. I might have a choice. Term, yeah. They might force my hand. <laughs> it's like the Biden debate. Like, will he even make it? You your know? hair looks like somebody who has hair, but has that, like, when they're playing a role where they have no hair. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like it looks like it, yeah, it looks it's like, tough. Yeah, it's better than it's mutts. It's better than mutts. Well, he's also got a lot of years on me. Mutts is mutts is like the worst. Yeah, it's, I like that he uses his wife as a scapegoat to keep it. No that's way, that's true. Yeah, no she's, 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 no just way, that's true. she's just so magnetized. She's probably been begging for him to take it off. Has like the KD <laughs> thing going on. Yes, Mutt? Yeah. yes. Yeah. Looks like Tiger Woods. He has Tiger Woods. Yeah. 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 Um, Similar. Uh, well, that's not true. <laughs> uh, all right. So we gave the gift of Manscaped. The bottle comes with two free gifts. Uh, the Boxers 2.0 Premium Underwear. I like that. And the Shed 2.0 Toiletry Bag. 20% off and free shipping with the code M-I-N-I-H-A-N-E. That's Minahan. M-I-N-I-H-A-N-E. Uh, at Manscaped.com. Manscaped. Get your jingle balls. Ready for the holidays. All right. What else? Back to Steve from Gloucester if I could. I think sure. he'd be fantastic at a, at a theater near me. I don't think I, I know. I think Does he have any interest in movies? To show what? that I'm I'm not a one trick pony. <laughs> <Yeah, see? laughs> oh, there you go. Anything he's else, got, Stephen? Any other thoughts that. or no about that? While I'm not going to bend the knee. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, I sure thought was. the phone oh. call went well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's a big. He seems like he might be a homebody to me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he did go through the Sopranos. I'm so with you. Break I like the idea of ten minutes every day with him. Oh, hell yeah. 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 yeah, that's interesting. I'm fine with that. I could see him being a movie guy. He's old. He's alone. Clearly. I, yeah, can I can see him see going to like the new Spider Man like with like in like an outfit. Oh, you think he's like that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe. I don't know. At a recent don't know Comic Con. <laughs> if he <laughs> if he made a pitch Thursday. Sure. I mean I'm open I'm open to anybody. Where, where are we at right now with that? Final Friday. Big day for Clemmer. Oh, oh right. Big day for Clemmer. If he doesn't do it, he he'll do it. I think he'll do it. He, he has to. He do also it. wants to do it. Yeah. Like, he <laughs> wants to do it. Like I don't know what the I think it's more insulting to you if he doesn't do it. I'm, I guess I'm not insulted really either way, but I, I don't like just for his own sake, it's for, something for him to do. Yeah. Well, if you're telling him to do it, then he literally has no reason to not do it. That was the reason he wasn't going to do it. all along. Like he should do yeah. it. Like do it. I don't know. But it'd be funny if Steve from Gloucester or Clayton or I will say this. Uh, speaking of, I try to listen to everything. That first episode with our guy, the eyeglasses guy. Cinema Lords. Again. Cinema Lords. That sound was the worst sound I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Oh, really? Did you not hear good. it? Not yeah. good. Did you hear it, Coleman? I didn't. No? I didn't hear it. What was this? Pull, pull up. So they did a podcast on the K-Man Network, the Cinema Lords. Yes. His sound is so bad. Uh oh. Let me hear it. Is this the Harry Potter one? Yes. I didn't get a chance. I, I bail. It was so bad. <laughs> He's actually upset. I didn't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, damn. <laughs> no, I actually. Yeah. This is me. Yeah. Uh, this is why I was all in on three. I'm one and three. I'm all in on three. Oh, so this is the whole time. He says the whole time. That's crazy. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> Why does he have a face tracker? I don't know. Going? The face tracker is going. The uh... just jump ahead. Is he like that the whole time? Because I bailed. It's like yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna. Oh, he's fine. Who's, who's that? You know, oh. hibernating and then go watch it. So you had an oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> his microphone is definitely not plugged yeah. in. That's no, what it has to. Not. Sounds like he's yeah. making announcements at Penn State. Oh. <laughs> 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 sounds like Coleman's yeah. play-by-play. Jesus, what the hell? That's not a good sign. No, that's not, not, not a good not start. A good start. <laughs> no, it's not a good start. That almost adds to it. Nick, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like Nick. Is that that's what it not... always sounds like? Well, that was the first, first one. Was in the first year, we did the whole... Well, no, he's done did episodes. Did you watch The Reunion on HBO? You... Is that his baby oh, yeah. mama right there? So... I don't know. Okay. Why does she sound pristine? Well, she has a different mic. Because her mic's mic, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're not in the same room? No, they're all no, the they're same. No, they're right at the same table. They're what? all at the same table. <laughs> they all have a microphone in front of them. So I was wondering, I was like, oh, is it me? In. Like, I, I actually <laughs> fucking sadly, like, like X'd out and then put it back on again. Like, this must be... Oh, that's thing. crazy. It was, it was fine. That's crazy. Jeez. So that's, that's a problem for Nick, I will say. All right, what else? What do you have, Gus? Well, we got a letter yesterday to the, to the studio. I've gotten from, some fan mail. From Mike, from, it was attention to Mike Geary. Do you have the letter? I do have Let the letter. Let me see it. Well, it, one, it also comes with money. Oh, good. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> I, I offered it to Montante as gambling I took money. It. <laughs> How much money was it? 200 You took it? No, I wish. Oh, go ahead. Is this real? Yeah. I, I can yeah. explain. The prison messaged me, so I can explain what happens after you Thanks for the it. content, Dave. <laughs> Two crisp $100 bills for you, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. go he, this guy messaged me and said, uh, he's like, listen. I don't want to give to the libs at Patreon, but I like what you're doing. Oh. And I said, uh, he goes, 
what's the address to the studio? And I go, you can become a member on YouTube as well. Do you still sign up? And then I think, no. So I think uh, you gave out the address recently. Yep, there you go. So he said, uh, he messaged me again and goes, I've got the address. Expect some money. <laughs> there you go. I, 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 said, I, I said, I don't receive mail here, so I'll give it to the boys or Montante. No, it's your money. That's your money. Yeah, yeah I said that's, that's your money. Take that's your right. money. That's your money. That's your money. But then that. we all we also saw his website on the letterhead, and I was like, I think he has a audio <laughs> yeah. tapes dot com. Right, no free do that, Montana. <laughs> Two hundred bucks. Fuck you. For not for me. I actually don't think <laughs> the name of it. Nobody ever sends me any money. What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> you can keep it too. If you want. I'm all set. I'm handing out hundreds. Blindmike.net. and uh, of course uh, the YouTube is the Blind Mike Project. That's correct. That's right. There you Trying go. to get to five thousand by the end of the year. For which. Uh, you too. Oh, good. Yes. Well, both, I guess. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah let's get to both. Uh, what else? Uh, other than that big news, Gus. <laughs> he thought this was going on a lot longer than that. <laughs> no, 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 there's no letter. <laughs> I mean, so that, was, that was all I it was. It was just funny to get the, the mail in. Um, You'll see some of that on uh, KMS scenes, too, I believe. Oh, is well, that right? From what we yeah, saw, yeah. yeah. Well, from when we opened it. Because I asked Mike first. I said, wait for Mike. It was almost exci as exciting as that interaction. So we're, so we're going to make people watch that again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds great. Cry. <laughs> what else? That'll be a Thursday. What else? Uh, Dan Dan from Newton called into Healthy Debate. Uh, yeah, let's get it started. Yeah, I, I, you want me to give you an option right now? You want to talk mac and cheese? Or you want to talk a little college football? Oh, that's tempting. <laughs> You're gonna be distracted. <laughs> Rico, it's a real Sophie's right, choice. I got a friend. Uh, I think you know him, Dan Newton. He wants to talk Bama. We're in the first quarter, by the way. Healthy debate, Divya Marsh. <laughs> What's up, Pat Ford, the Drip Lord? Great addition to KMS. Should be weekly guest. What do you think, Dan? At a certain point, you have to actually call, like, talk about what you want to talk about. <laughs> That was it. You know, <laughs> Your show, Dan. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's been pretty good. I did see that Dan no Katz, congrats, congrats, you used, quoted one of your famous sayings, Mike. Who can forget that? I know, yes. yes. I appreciated yes. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all the things with, uh, you know, my, my little tiny dad. Yeah, he, I know sure. he was a fan oh, of. Definitely, yeah. The yeah. hits. <laughs> he oh, likes the hits. Yeah, for sure. All the gay people at weddings. Was yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff what? D. Lowe has to be out of his fucking mind to go take time out of his day. No reason to put that out there. That video that he put together. Well, I mean, but, yeah, but he's a fan of the show. Oh, like, we, like, we, he's we, like in like the upper restaurant. He, I know that. What do you want? Not, we should <laughs> not like wild. the show. Much no, like no, I get, I get it. What do I you get do? It. You know? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Can I say this is where Jeff? I, I can't understand him because he replied. People were like tagging him, saying like, "Hey, what the fuck with the five person teams? It should be three. Yes. And he replied. Uh, because I make the decisions. That's right. He's a commissioner. Yeah. I thought it was a funny response. Go ahead, answer. Then, he's so kidding, I, of course. I replied to that, and then he replies to me. He's like. And let's try and remember we like to have a little fun. <laughs> why are you doing that? I'm fucking around, Jeff. The commissioner, that's why. Um, okay, can we have a little fun here, boys? Blind Mike. Unbelievably funny. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. What else, Colin? You can leave his $200 for me. <laughs> um, I saw Donald Trump's sister yesterday. Marianne Trump passed away. That's true. Montante, go ahead. The, floor the, the, wrong, the wrong Trump was trending. What do you mean? Oh, that's what it said? Yeah, liberals had liberals had the wrong <laughs> Trump was That's running. actually pretty funny. The party of tolerance. Don't be so sensitive. That's funny. These fucking <laughs> pussies. It's unbelievable. Jesus. You got, you want to shit? Oh, God. It's too soon. Who cares? It's funny. I'm just saying that it happened. Yes. Ugh. I can't even imagine like how bo like what boring stuff will you talk about with Craig tomorrow? On, on oh show? fuck, I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna be tough. Yeah, that's a tough scene. Yeah, that's a tough. Scene. <laughs> Craig does stink. Yeah, he tried on uh, Sunday's Blind Mike project. He said to me before we started, uh, he was feeling a little ill, and he compared it to Jordan's flu game. Oof. And I had to remind him that Jordan actually did quite well in that, right. yeah. <laughs> in that appearance. <laughs> told him it was more like James Jordan's highway drive. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> like Magic Johnson's trip to the yeah. dock. Was, was that was just the flu originally, yeah. Is there one original moment that sticks out why you hate Craig or is it just a, you know... He's a he's a he's like a he's a hanger on. He's like a, he's worse than hanger was on was of a no, hanger on of a hanger on. But there was know? no moment where you were like, <laughs> Hold on all due respect, Mike. <laughs> let, me, let me follow that analogy. Two hundred dollars in my hand. Be careful. <laughs> no, no, he's just annoying. I, I don't like. I think he thinks he's better. Like I just don't. I, don't. I did see him with his blankie. Yeah, at, uh, the live show. <laughs> Since he thinks he's better than anything. I do. I do. I don't. I don't. And I remember he got sensitive. Like. He likes dumping on people and everything's in play, but then when you make fun of him, you got all sensitive about it. I do remember that. It is true. So, like, no problem. I just want to acknowledge you. That's fine. Like, he seems like he's doing really well on his own, so congratulations on your success. <laughs> Very good. Mm. What else? Uh, Scorsese's back on the talk. 
Yeah, I don't really love that. I'm sick of <laughs> What's he doing fucking, now? His fucking daughter with these TikToks with Scorsese. I, I don't. I, he's an artist. He, they do this thing where it's I like guess, a bracket, basically. Yeah, and you move your head the way of yeah. the movie you like. Ah. Oh, I've seen that stupid trick. He has his daughter out there. His daughter's making Martin Scorsese dance around. This is a guy who directed Goodfellas. He directed fucking The King of Comedy, Taxi Driver. He's doing a TikTok with his daughter. Like, there, there should be a spot where a man of that stature should not be doing that. I mean, yeah, I, maybe he likes. Maybe he's being one of the kids. I don't care. I don't care. He's he's Martin Scorsese. He should not be doing that. If I could talk to him, any luck on Martin Scorsese as a guest? Not yet. Okay. How about uh, Frank Stallone? Uh, no confirmed day. <laughs> Hope it happens this week. Wait, when I mean, this week with Steve? Confirm Friday. I think I, I, I'm up. shooting for Friday. I think Friday is going to be a good spot for the day for Frank with Clemmer. Yeah, movie guy talking. Ah, movie guy talking. <laughs> talking <laughs> movies. Yeah. Movie guy <laughs> talk. Those are the two things that stand out to me about Clemmer. Is he's a movie guy and he does talk. He talks. <laughs> I always <laughs> noticed that about. Yeah, he's always talking. <laughs> yeah. How about Henry Winkler? Nothing yet from him. Okay, and Shannon Doherty feels like that's definitely going to happen, right? Yeah, Carl Weathers? Doherty. Carl Weathers, I, that's gone radio <laughs> silent on me, so I'm calling back again. I don't get, like, <laughs> like if you look up, like, Carl Weathers, he'll go on a YouTube show with, like, 400 people. I know, like, that's why like, I'm why is, like, why isn't, like, I don't understand. I, this is a major podcast. The only thing that it could be is everyone would, no, quick Google search. I mean, You're a bad boy. I mean, if you do a Google search right now, let me see. I don't, I really don't think that's it. Kirk Minnick. Well, what else would it be? I mean, I think Kirk Minahan, Kirk Minahan Show, Kirk Minahan Show, Kirk Minahan Show on Apple, Kirk oh, Minahan, could be on something like Kirk <laughs> yeah. Minahan Show podcast, <laughs> Kirk Minahan, Kirk Minahan Show, Kirk Minahan, Kirk Minahan, Kirk Minahan Show, not Kirk scrolling, Minahan Show, Kirk 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 Try what? Bing. What's that? It's a different search engine. Remember, oh, you don't remember, remember the Bing version of it? <laughs> but, uh, the Kirk Minahan Show, Milton's. Uh, it was just a theory. I'm trying to take the, the heat off. Uh, enough about me with Kirk no, Minahan. I mean, the only thing is Aaron Andrews. That's how much? Ten how much? years ago. What, yeah. What's right now? What's like the uh, percentage? Is it 100% Gus going after the people? Or is Coleman throwing his, you know? I do, I do when I can. Like, I when I think it's appropriate for me to be reaching out. But Gus Kirk Manning leaving morning show. Kirk Manning and Kevin Cullen. Like, I, like all the all, yeah. the, all yeah. the big ones. Kirk, Intercom sends Kirk Manning walking after host issues ultimatum. Uh-oh. Uh, Leesradio.com. Meet Kirk Manning, the most acerbic man in sports talk. Wow. Uh, Kurt Atone. I'm on uh, uh, stuff with uh, the golf, the uh, foreplay stuff, the uh, headline civil morning show. Here you go. Uh, Boston's toxic sports radio scene adds to city's reputation. That's Shalise Manza Young. We had to correct it. How far down is that? Though? She's the Way one that down. she's yeah, the one that fucked like 13 year old in high school. That's according to David from Hull, not from me. Okay. That's to be very clear. <laughs> that's a David from Hull. They will not have Exclusive. the balls tell, tell on the show, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, Rough and Rowdy 22. Why did, uh, why did you come up with it? He was there. Yeah, I mean, the, yes, the uh, there's a roll off thing. Yeah, and this is, we're going way down here. Yeah, I just, that, I, I just don't buy that anymore. No, I, I, the only thing that I would think of would be the barstool affiliation, but I don't even think that's it. I think that's they, getting they get everybody yeah, on. That's getting guests. I mean, there's, there yeah. are. I would say there are X amount of people who won't come on. Yeah, I don't think it's Carl yeah. Weathers or Frank Henry Frank Winkler. Or <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Carl Weathers had the maybe Henry on. Winkler. Maybe I don't think so. He probably. I don't. But he'd go with KFC though. Uh, that's yeah, the difference. Exactly. Is like is KFC, and this is why I just don't want to do it. They have like the Kelly Martin, like that. And I just yeah. don't want that. So yeah. they say Henry Winkler is like the nicest man in showbiz. Yes, that's true. And Tom Hanks got him fired from the movie Turner and Hooch. He was the original director of that. Really? Yeah, got him fired from it. What a piece Jeez. of shit. And he's great friends with Ron Howard, Tom Hanks. He's great That's friends right. Yeah. Great friends with a lot of people. Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> Epstein. Which one? Henry Tom Winkler? Hanks? Tom, no, Hanks. Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Tom Hanks. So what, what was your what's your theory on Tom Hanks and uh, Jeffrey Epstein? I just think they took a lot of powerful people to this island, yep. used the influence over them, they put them in high spots. Hollywood, it's a whole thing. Hollywood is just filled with pedophiles. Power, a lot of these powerful people have dirt on them, so that's why you have to move a certain way. Why would you fall for that trick if you're Tom Hanks, though? Mm. You oh, just well, want that I, young I, ass so bad because good, but good comes with Keeps it. you young because the other people there are also compromised. So you're part of the club. Yeah, they might have been compromised when they were very young, like when Tom Hanks wasn't Tom Hanks. What do you mean? Well, when he was on, on, when he was on, famous for forty years. But that's what I'm saying. On the come up, you get him when he's becoming a name. Yeah, but Epstein, and then now Epstein you got didn't him. do that though. I don't know. I'm trying to help him. Out I appreciate that. that. Who's on, <laughs> who else is on the list? Oprah. Uh, Oprah's oof, Oprah, absolutely. Spielberg. Spielberg. I just remember uh, the weird names on there. Like Rudy Gobert was on there, I think. The guy who started COVID. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Coleman chimed in there like 
Steven Soderbergh, Steven yeah. Spielberg fucked him as a kid or something. <laughs> Did he really? No, no, I didn't. Did he, 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 he goes, ah. You're denying. You're denying that. <laughs> yes, I'm denying. <laughs> he didn't Spielberg fuck you as a kid. No. Okay, gotcha. All right. Why? That was the one, for some reason, that was the one name. There's, He's always, like, been, ah. there's always been weird. Well, I didn't know if he was on the actual list. I, I there's weird Spielberg rumors forever. I don't know if they're, I have no idea if they're true or false, but of course you hear those. Like yeah. what? Just that, like that. But, but that's bullshit. I, it's yeah, you always hear Hanks and Oprah and all those things. Hillary Clinton. Epstein is definitely real. Like there's no, I mean, Bill that. Clinton was but, on the but list. But I don't know if Tom Hanks is on it. He's on it. How do you know that though? I've seen the list. Yeah, but from who? I've seen it. I've seen it leaked. From which <laughs> which kind of site? Which site was it? Fucking which, uh what booty or big booby sixty eight sent it to <laughs> yeah, me. I, I've seen the list. I've seen the list. Yeah, it's a right wing leaning <laughs> site. Yeah, I've seen it. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yes. You, yeah. I, whatever. There's I definitely know. truth to it. And we'll never know about it. Well, I, I believe Clinton. I believe Kevin Spacey, of course. Chris Tucker. Like there are, the one he he's talked about yeah. it. So, I mean, there are people who have been Prince on Andrew. it. Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew for sure. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know. He's, he seemed like a straight shooter. To me. <laughs> forgot to sweat. He's the one. Yeah. That's an, <laughs> that's an unbelievable I've line. I've never sweat. <laughs> so what happened? That, like it was just, I've read books about fucking Epstein too. I don't really understand. So you go on there, it's like a bunch of like underage kids. Yeah. That sounds awful. Jesus. That sounds good. Like <laughs> wow, dreadful. Depending weekend. on your attention, yeah. your intentions. That's how good the golf course is, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Anyway. But it's rumors, of course, about Steven Spielberg. It's Montante suggesting that. And Mike, that he slept with Coleman. I was trying to help <laughs> Montante out. But <laughs> Coleman, even for the it. record, because you have a family with money. Were you guys friends with the Spielbergs? That, we were not. That happened? No. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Coleman okay. could have been the kidney. T- oh, the time doesn't line up. Damn it. Mm, yeah, he's born 20 years later. <laughs> yeah. But yes, that's true. That's true. Henry Thomas. What else? Uh, Barrett Sports Media had a piece out on <laughs> on you yesterday, actually. Oh, about time. Uh, Kirk Minahan. How did I miss this blizzard of social media just, activity? Especially uh, when you just Googled yourself. Uh, Why I'm wasn't sure this the first one? What, what the hell? Point. I, just came across, I just came across it just on the Google search. Shows how hard you're working. Then. I know. So you, it's okay, great. Okay. Uh, but why can't uh, Fred Toucher and Rich Shirley admit they hate each other? And they just kind of take our quotes from yesterday. Uh, your quotes from yesterday. Oh, in there. Are. Yeah, on the on the Kirk Minahan show, Kirk said he's been telling <laughs> folks for a while that Toucher and Rich was ending. Okay, I don't care. Yeah. Producer <laughs> Andrew Augustus chimed in. <laughs> I agree. So Gus, so, so Gus has no stories. Literally searching my name now. No, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not I'm just, this is another thing that popped up that came across. Gotcha. Okay, what else? And look at this. It appears John Dennis is leaving the program. <laughs> wow. It's going to be you and Jared. Who knew? <laughs> Jesus. What else? I saw this uh, interview with uh, Rory McIlroy yesterday. Uh-huh. He was touching on um, I hate him. Cantley. Yeah. Why? Uh, Why hate Rory McIlroy? Because he's a fucking baby. He's a woe is me baby. Like he's whined about Liv and then he let everybody back. He's I get why he it. whined about Liv. Why? He was on the right side. I get that. Because if you're loyal to the PGA Tour, some dirty money. Everything with Rory is like he actually like he's better. He's another better than they guy. got like, absolutely everything. fucked. I'd be I'd be salty as shit too. He could have gone. Well, he didn't know it was going to happen. You know, well, I mean, yeah, but, but but then he acted like he, he acted like he was like you know all these guys are assholes. But now he lets him back. And he would have got, he would he got how much if he was one of the first people to leave? You probably five hundred million. Oh my god, yeah, probably That's four or five hundred million. <laughs> fucking brutal. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I, I, Roy's a baby. But go ahead. Yeah, no, it was basically. Oh, by the uh, way, I'm sorry, Coleman. Uh, let me congratulate. By the way, you want to talk about bravery? I would say Louis Zamperini, the World War II guy, who was who was in. They made the movie about that. Great unbroken. book, Unbroken. Saw the movie yep. for sure. Great book, Unbroken. Uh, Eli Wiesel wrote the great book Night, his struggle in the Holocaust. Uh, I'm trying to think who'll be third on that list. I'll skip third for now. Ann Riggs, who yesterday for the kids for charity, played golf all day at Pebble Beach. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I, just want to thank I just want to thank Riggs for doing that. He cried that at the end yeah, I think he did. That meant a lot to everybody. <laughs> He's, uh, he played a hundred holes of golf at Pebble Beach yesterday. Does he ever worry it's too much giving back? I think that's the problem. It's like, are you now, is that crossover thing where you're still an entertainer and now you're humanitarian? Right. That becomes, is he going to be, I guess he can't be knighted, but he'll certainly, I would think the Pope will. The American uh, version of that anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think he should become a, uh, a saint, yeah. St. Riggs. <laughs> Riggsy. <laughs> yes. I mean, this guy's have an easy life. He has a home in Arizona. He plays golf all day. He has a home at Piners. He plays golf all day. And then on the side, he plays golf. <laughs> I mean, this guy is one of the great humanity, probably the top two or three humanitarian. You said Henry Winkler? Yep. Like, Riggs is literally saving these kids. I mean, like, he had to play golf 100 holes yesterday. Pebble Beach? Who wants to do that? When Riggs is coming around, people are making rooms in their wallets for hundreds. He's yes. just handing them out. You don't mind, Mike. I'm going to give Riggs these $200. <laughs> if you could, yeah. yeah that seems like, get, the right, the right that seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> Thank you. It's a very nice charity. Uh, yes, I have no question. It was for young kids, right? Uh, do we know Coleman? Uh, I retweeted. Actually, I might have donated to it, sadly. 
Not sadly, but it's for kids, and I, we appreciate that. But the real hero is Riggs. Yeah, I agree. Who is probably taking a healthy cut of that. Do, are, are the kids thanking Riggs enough? No, they're not. No, That's kind of no, no, unfortunate. No, no, no. 100 hole hike? Yeah, 100 hole hike. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, reached his goal. Huh? Reached his goal. He reached his goal playing 100 holes of golf. <laughs> I can't imagine how he did that, but he did it. That's I, in what I amount do of love time? It, I do love his tweet, though. A hundred hole hike for the kids begins now. Bad news, I have to walk like 10 miles. Yeah. Good wow. news, there's an open bar. Yeah, there you go. Great. Ah, uh, yes. That's important for the kids. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> She's, uh, it's before the money goes there. He's well known in Uganda, too. I did see that. Apparently. Yes. That seemed like a plant. I saw Billy clip. Football. Yes, that's, that's, that's that's that seemed like a plant that clipped to me. Mm-hmm. Right, what else? Um, so, yeah, in, just in relation to that uh, Rory story, he was, he was oh, saying yeah. that his relationship with Cantley is average at best. This is after Hatgate and all their bickering back and forth. Uh, we don't have a ton of comments, see the world quite differently. And then he was talking about Joe LaCava saying uh, he used to be a nice guy when he was caddying for Tiger, and now he's caddying for that dick. Yes, he's so edgy. Like, that's his thing. Like, now he's yeah. being like, because he's, it, been, because he's been nice for so long, now he's like, people like you have to be edgy. So now he's being yeah. edgy. Everything with him is like is corporate. I hate Rory McIlroy. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If he gives me four shots aside, pick a course in America, I'll kick his ass. He's been silent. He's played from the whites, issue. to be fair. What's that? He's never he's never commented on this. Yes. He seems scared. And because I'm a long hitter and attribute to Steve Robinson, we would play from the whites. Okay. That is where we're playing from. Yes. I accept. <laughs> is that Rory? No. 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 Damn, it. <laughs> Damn it. What else, Gus? Harmon was in I just the... Searched, I just Google searched the name Mike Geary. There's a... Oh. Uh, I'm saying that's what Gus is next door to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not seeing a lot. Uh, he does a podcast, it looks like. He's a street teamer. Oh, he has a, he's oh, a yeah. book on abs. <laughs> yeah. on that's YouTube one of the Mike Geary. Is there really? Yeah. 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 What's that, Gus? Be a man was in the Barstool offices yesterday. Oh, is that right? Okay. My guy. Cheating golf. Be a man. Met up with Francis, Francis about cheating and golf. What would you like me to say about that? <laughs> okay, so you have nothing, right? No, I have one more. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Because you, you tweeted this out this morning. Uh, you have your dozen trivia today. I'm playing Riggs. Just a big Look, advantage over Riggs today, Mike, after that walk yesterday. He's so exhausted he's from so you know, mentally just giving exhausted. back. Yeah. yeah. But, I imagine he'll just let us win because he just gives things to people. give you a few points at least. Yeah, I would yeah. think. What? <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding, Riggs. Riggs, relax, Riggs. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, but you uh, tweeted this morning about uh, your teammate, Rico. Oh, my God. What a scene. So I don't know how it will sound audio. It's a good visual. So uh, I guess the, the the Bills were playing the Broncos last night. Yeah, they were. And the the Bills were about to win, but then they committed a two-man the Bill, field. Yeah, Bills are up one. Uh, game-winning field goal opportunity for Denver. Wide left. And then Bills had too many guys in the yep, field. Yep. Oh, and then they made the next kick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how good it'll sound because it's, 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 Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Rico's That's great. Very hard. It's like he's Fuck it no up. time to just no. Tank. No. Wait, no. Relax. Relax. Don't kick it yet. Wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Plumber in there too. Rico's very happy. He's won his. How much money did Rico have on this? He was so devastated. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually very funny. This is Frank. Yeah, Frank funny. was very funny. Oh, no. That's oh Frank. God. Camera goes to Frank. He's just giggling. It's actually pretty fun. So you have two men in the field. Yeah. yeah. He's a little melody at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what about the uh, the Rico line? Uh, I hope I hope the plane crashes. Change, you fucking idiot! <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? What did he, he say right there? Oh. And here's. They're making the change, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Rico's just funny. That's but, very funny. But then he wants the, yeah. the Bills coach to die in a, in a plane crash. Yeah. <laughs> Those things are always risky. I remember on the radio, like, I would say that once from, oh my God, if it actually happens, you oh. oh, fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Honest, though. You are fucked. That's true. That's <laughs> Nobody remember, I guess, if that happens. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's another guy. Um, would he be able to not curse? I guess because I was. I, like, we always say this about Kevin. Like FAN should just offer him X amount of dollars. Oh, the fans hate Kevin, huh? Jesus. R- Rico would be great. <laughs> like I'm surprised you would think like with FAN, that would be a guy that. I would bet be. you he could, he could. You think Rico should start talking to Odyssey and Intercom? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> that well, didn't even dawn on me. Well, the interesting thing would be this time he'd actually be talking to them. That would be different than a year ago. He's right. pretending to talk to them. <laughs> right. So, yeah, yeah, maybe. I actually didn't mean that. But, but like, he, it, that passion like doesn't exist in actual sports talk radio anymore. No, he'd be good. He'd yeah. be good. Mm-hmm. 
I think he could do that without yeah. swearing, honestly. He could, he could talk I, that, I have enough conversation. Because that's like, yeah. what, I've listened to enough healthy debate to be like, oh, this would be actually a good sports talk radio show. Yeah, he could do that. For sure he could do that. All right, what else? Uh, Brian Damaris, he was a uh, commentator for Bally Sports. He had this James Harden rant, and they, they took, took it down, right? They took it down. I yeah. Saw that. yeah. I didn't think it was anything crazy. No, I mean, these guys are all sensitive. Yeah. Yeah, who cares? What else? Uh, officially today, the Barstool Sportsbook app is dead, I believe. It's now ESPN. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Four minutes ago, Justin Trudeau. I know, I know <laughs> what this is. Wait a minute. <laughs> Call Justin quick. Yeah. Is this real? I'm the only one that's been tipped off to this. <laughs> why, wait, why are you going to tell us this? I was going to wait for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> he is currently, according to his tweet, take a picture of Subway. He's going to meet Sam right now. No way. Oh God. Yeah, he's in Delaware. She sounded attractive. <laughs> she what? She had a good, she had an attractive voice. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> what do you mean? Who cares? You don't, okay, I guess I'm the only pervert thinking that. <laughs> what does that, that have to do with anything? I'm curious. Now we get to see. Now I get no, to see. You're I'm right, Montante. Like, I jerked off to it last night. All right, thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate your support. She's 15, but yeah. I don't well, know. every 10 years would be tough to do if we get in the... Uh, Four minutes ago, yeah. So he's... Wow. <laughs> Gus, you could learn from him, see? I could, yeah. <laughs> but you're lucky he's never going to take the job. So. <laughs> you're safe. <sighs> Jeez. Um, how, does he, how does he know she's working? Though? That's a good point. That'd too. be a letdown. That sucks. Yeah, she's off next three <laughs> days. two Indian guys <laughs> looking stay, for Sam. He'll stay there. <laughs> I said... <laughs> I told him it'd be great if he went to do this and just got caught in New York City traffic. And just, <laughs> like, by the time we were done, he wasn't even close. <laughs> Tell me to leave. <laughs> I think like four in the morning. That's a good, for what purpose? <laughs> wait, wait, oh, forget. Just, <laughs> just exactly what you just did. The only purpose was for you in the middle of the show <laughs> to, to be like, hey, Justin's at Subway and Dole. This guy won't take a job from me, but yeah, he's obsessed with me. We do it on air. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be seven and a half. Imagine if it was like. Hours. Imagine if I was just kind of like, oh yeah, remember, like I didn't care about the subway thing. Today. <laughs> That's, That's, <laughs> that was my dream, which is kind of where I'm at. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's 15 hours round trip. Oh, uh, easily down to oh, Delaware. Yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. I like that. That I don't mind yeah. going. I like that bridge. It's nice. Oh, it's a beautiful bridge. Yeah. And you ever go to that mall right off the uh, the Christiana Mall? Off to it, no, I've never been to it. I've I seen think it Charles times. Barkley named one of his kids after that mall. Really. Christiana? Look that up, Christiana. I, I could be making that up. I might have dreamed it. It's a, it's, a, it's a California pizza kitchen, and the Barnes and Noble. Justin's calling back. Okay. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hey, buddy. I need you at the studio right now. This, this <laughs> things are fucked up here. Oh, I, I got bad news. <laughs> <laughs> is is Sam working? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, uh, Sam is actually part-time at Subway. She currently works at the hospital. Are you going there now? <laughs> he has all the background. Uh, I already, I already went in and I uh, took a video. It's uploading. I was going to live stream it, but the internet uploaded. It's terrible so, here, so, so, upload it. so what do you do now that she's not working there? Well, as I told her, <laughs> back to <Boston. laughs> I mean, Sam, well, I mean, uh, I would think that, what, do we know a hospital? I would assume the local. Yeah. You ever see that way? Okay. Does this feel like a miss or no? <laughs> uh, you know, I think I think there's a couple laughs. Okay. Video, but, uh, how, how, long know, it take, it, how long did it take you to get there? Worth, <laughs> was it worth driving to my grandmother's house at 10 o'clock last night, leaving her house at 5 o'clock in the morning, go all the way here? No, it's, probably not. It's a, nice bri- it's a nice bridge, though, isn't it? Oh, it's a be- beautiful drive. That is yeah, a great bridge. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're just going to turn around. Yep. <laughs> well, is Sam working tomorrow? They said she works Saturday. So okay. Well, you should probably you should just, hang down there. You should probably get back down there for that. Then. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. This person seemed really. Uh, the person who was working was an older uh, older woman. And she was she she was not taking my jokes. Oh, okay. I, I think, well, I think she might have texted Sam. Uh, oh, <laughs> he's better with a younger crowd. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. All right, Justin. Hey, grab me an Italian BMT, twelve inches. <laughs> good job. Really good job. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Call that call that call that subway call. Would you? <laughs> yep. That's unbelievable. I get why the worker would be a little freaked out. So he drove what seven hours. This guy shows up. That's what a, that's what a fucking psychopath. Does. Oh, you know? I get it. <laughs> I'm here uh, to see I, Sam. I'll have to remember this after this phone call. Thank you for choosing Harrington Subway. Can I help you? Hi, is Sam. There. 
I'm sorry? Is Sam there? No, Sam is not. Oh, at the hospital, no? <laughs> yes. All right, thank you. Can I try and help you? No, we're fine, thank you. Have a subway day. Uh, unbelievable. What? what? No, what's that? Uh, you say something like that? I was going to say, has a man been in there? To find <laughs> 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 this is where we're actually going to get in like, legal whatever. trouble now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, the Charles Barkley thing checks out. Oh, good. I thought that was yeah. true. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, two two thoughts. One, One was like, can I help you, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's like, I need to put clues together as to what's going on with Sam. Sam <laughs> knows. <laughs> I hope this doesn't affect our relationship with Sam. Sam's yeah. a hustler. Yeah. Oh, Sam, short works time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you would think she wouldn't need that somewhere. No, you definitely would <laughs> not. I'm a little disappointed she that volunteers. Justin's not going to the hospital. She's walking around the hospital looking for him. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't rule it out. That's true. There yeah. was a moment at the... I'm kidding, Justin, if you're listening. At the, uh, <laughs> at, the, at the Milton's lunch, mm -hmm. when Justin walked in later than us, I think Mutt or someone said, like, oh, is that Justin? And you go... Who knows? A lot of people look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not said that. I'm like, no, pro probably not. <laughs> yeah. But yesterday, Justin called me. He was like, I, he, I need to, I, he goes, I don't want to tell people I'm doing this, but I need like a second opinion. Is this funny? <laughs> and then he explained it to me oh and I started laughing as harder than I was here. And he's like, He's like, yeah, but what if it doesn't like work? And I'm like, but that that's why you do it. Like, I was just trying to make sure he did it. But He just drove seven hours. <laughs> is it, is and it seven and hours like, on the and, like, and like, honestly, like, what's the payoff? But even if she's there, like, what's the payoff? There is a payoff. Uh, uh, that rules. Now we're going to do a show there. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, he just cemented. What is it? Harris, Delaware? Harris? Yeah, where is it in Delaware? Coleman? Just had it. Um, that lady did not seem like a lot of fun, I have to say. No. By the way, that's, no a, that's how a perfectly normal sane person should react when somebody walks in. Like <laughs> I think they downplayed it. I want to yeah, call back. Right. I want to call back and say, hey, I know Sam's not there, but have you run into Justin yet? <laughs> I got a question. Yeah, we'll, we'll call her back and be like, you know, let me just ask you something. Like, Montante thinks she sounds kind of hot. Is she? <laughs> I was just thinking, like, I'm never going to know now. <laughs> we won't say anything. <laughs> not till Saturday when Tim, yeah. Tim and Cannon is down. True, that's a good point. I'm in a fan from Delaware. Somebody will see Sam on Saturday. That's a like Glock. I think someone has to go to that subway every day and ask for Sam. Yeah, I, Sam. I will be there next week. Not not there. I'll be in the state of Delaware next week. There you go. Uh, not Saturday. Yeah. Though. Well, yesterday no. she was there, right? So that's a Monday. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Monday, Saturday. Where is it, Coleman? I think it's uh, Harrington, Delaware. Harrington. Harrington, Have you spent Delaware. much time in Delaware? <clears throat> no, really just a drive. I've stayed in that town where that mall is a couple of times. Yeah. Like a Marriott, I think. That's like, yeah, it's like, that's barely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just over. There's some nice water spots there. I, I, I got out and got gas, and people all of a sudden had southern accents. I didn't think Delaware would be that. Really? Yo, yeah, like noticeable. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a southern. It's more of like a Philly, Baltimore accent in Delaware. That's what you would, but the, the one part I was in, like south. Oh, really? Strictly, it, it blew my mind. Hmm. Very strange. Hmm. I'm looking at Harrington, Delaware now. Yeah, I mean, that's not, I mean, I would think that's not far from where you live, right? Not oh, crazy. probably two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. So we, that was solved, I guess. <laughs> Delaware, one of the two last states in the East Coast to still have uh, cash tolls. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Part of me was hoping he gets there right as the show ends. <laughs> it's not even discussed. <laughs> Maybe he died in a car crash on the way there. <laughs> That's a whole show about Why it. Why was he in the middle of New Jersey? What's going on? I'd have to be like, oh, I know, actually. <laughs> you can't really talk about it. He has a buddy who lives in Philly who went to the Phillies game, so I thought maybe parlays in to stay out, you know, go over there with him, but nope, just driving right back. I, I'm a little down on Justin for not staying till Saturday. Oh, don't about. say that. Yeah, no, this, now he's turning around. That's fair. Don't do you that. You know what I'm saying, Mike? If you, what would Nathan Fielder do? You know? That's, like, that's, you got, that's commitment. Yeah, yeah right. it's, it's true. If, if there's a bit, you got to kind of commit to it. That's he's true. got a buddy in, in Pennsylvania, then. Yeah. What the hell? He stayed right? with me once. Yeah. You, 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 he could stay with you, right? Alex, yeah, Alex yeah. absolutely. He, she was like, Yeah, just wait a month. I get the guy in the couch. So like, it's, yeah. He's harmless. Yeah, he can bounce around. Waking up, seeing Justin sleep like this, my cat ran into his head. He's like, What the fuck? This is like almost like a Hallmark movie with Samantha and Justin. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They kind of, this how they meet cute and then off they go. Right. I could see that. Have a J yeah. Jared Fogel cameo. Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> By oh, meet sure. cute, you mean he was listening to a podcast that called her. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, and then stalked her and drove, <laughs> yeah. drove seven hours through the night. It is yeah. kind of a beautiful story. Yeah. <laughs> the weird thing about Justin saying he was going to his grandmother's at 10 o'clock at night. I'm not sure how that tied into it, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cut up the journey, maybe? I really understand. I guess. But his grandmother oh. must be. She's from here, oh, right? No, I think it is. I Maybe... Connecticut or something like that. Like yeah, on the, on the uh, way. So it's not little... that. Oh, it's still crazy. It's still terrible. Yeah, it's still nuts. Uh, Samantha maybe one might want to look at <laughs> Simply Safe, uh, the best home security system of 2023 by U.S. News and World Report. 
Uh, 24-7 professional monitoring. Do you think Samantha will become a character on the show? Do you think we, she, this is not the last we heard of her. Do you think she dies with this Justin's failure to see her? I think she's around longer than Steve from Gloucester. Ooh. Interesting. What do you think of that, Steve from Gloucester? What's your take on that? <laughs> I hope it's going to be a good show. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm obviously going to be yeah. nervous, but... Yeah. Doesn't okay. quite make sense. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. What's Jerry's take on it? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry? Experimented with what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the I got. What is Gus's take on it? Uh. As I have said, I can't be trained. Mid. <laughs> okay. Steve Robinson. Actually, playing Justice, on. Um, John the training order is in the mail for me and Rico. Who's that from? John, John Rich. Rich. Oh, it was John Rich. Okay. Really engaged. Newly engaged. He looks, he looks insane in those pictures. He looks, he's insane looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose. I want to, you, you, you're not friends with him, really friends, right, John Roach? Uh, we were like relatively close on the You're not a day wedding day. guy, though. No, 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 no. I, I don't oh. assume so. No, okay. 24 7 professional monitoring, less than a dollar a day. You want your house totally safe, you go simply safe. I've done it, you should do it as well. Money back guarantee, you're not going to want it. But if you don't like that for 60 days, you return it, full refund. 40%, four zero off a new system with Fast Protect plan. S-I-M-P-L-I safe.com slash Kirk. Simply safe.com slash Kirk. There's no safe like, like simply safe. Simply safe.com slash Kirk. S-I-M-P-L-I S-A-F-E dot com slash Kirk. Get your home secure 40% off right now. Do it for the holidays. Go to simply safe.com slash Kirk. All right, what else? I was thinking about uh, last night. King of the Hell is criminally underrated in the, <laughs> here, what? In the history of sitcoms. <laughs> Okay. King of the Hill? Yeah. Thoughts? If if I had the knowledge to give Justin on the phone yesterday, like, hey, what, when you do this, <laughs> Mikey, Mikey, yeah. uh, three minutes uh, later, we'll be talking about King of the Hill. One of the responses to Justin is Mikey Fowler is just at FBI. <laughs> <laughs> I just pictured Justin right now just like, like, what do, I, what do I do now? <laughs> Drive home? Justin's having one of those drives where he's like, what do I do with my life? I, I, I gotta make some changes. Realistically, what is that? So why, why wouldn't you just take the job here? Like, you do stuff like this. Like, I'd, I'd be like, you could spend the week there, meet her, and like, stay, and like, do stuff. Well, if he was the producer, he couldn't do that. What the, if Goldman's here, he could have. Oh, yeah, but he was, I don't think he wanted the second producer job. I don't think he wanted either, to be, to be fair. Oh, no, I know, but, but like, but he just spent like a lot of money to go there. <laughs> well, that's right? what I'm saying. So he probably had to fuel up twice. So say 80 bucks in gas. Easy. $30 in tolls. Get some food. 14 hours a time, 15 just hours a time. Just a day in your life. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be reimbursed when Coleman's fired. He's going to put the bill in. That's true. <laughs> Three years from now? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I appreciate it. It's funny. The video, as you said, is uploading right now. Yeah, so. he said it's taking forever. Jesus, what a scene. It's not going to work. <laughs> I like that he needed to tweet it out just to make sure the whole mission wasn't lost. <laughs> I have to say, it's not a bad looking. It looks like a cleaner new subway. Okay, that's good. It's a. Did you see it, Gus, or no? I did. It's a corner unit, as we say in the business. But it looks nice, no? Yeah, no. It looks. It looks clean. Up Cape. It looks good. Like a good yeah. spot. Up Cape. Up, up keep. Cape. Good up Cape. Cape. Eh, it's up Cape. <laughs> and like, if you look at it like closely, Montanti, there's like it, Justin Rezzi took the picture and like. The mirror in the car, you can kind of see the bottom <laughs> half of Justin's face. <laughs> At FBI, that's pretty funny. So King of the Hill. I don't have a lot. I don't, I'm not a big fan. Of what are you asking about it? No, it's just people talk Why about good. Why are you good, yelling? Probably, like, He's allowed to talk. Because everybody gets, everyone sucks, you know, friend's dick. Friend's is an overrated show. So they're not in the same sh kind of show. Yeah, though. but when you look at the same era. Yeah, all right. I guess. What do you want me to say? Seinfeld's right, rightfully rated. Okay. Frasier, So fair. make the case. Go ahead. It's, fun. it's a great show. It's a great... I think it's a Are you funnier. thinking of King of Queens or no, King no, of the I'm Hell? No, I'm thinking He's of the animated of... with the guy really? judge. The, yeah, yeah, I mean, joke. just the Seinfeld and Friends comparison. I don't I don't see it. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm saying Seinfeld is... How's this going so far? Is worse than I actually thought, <laughs> okay. believe it or not. Go ahead. Seinfeld <laughs> is, I think, people respect Seinfeld. It gets the respect it deserves. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's Where a much friend, better show than King friend, No, it's not. King of the Hill is... Oh, Seinfeld's yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's not it is, a better show. It is, it is. King of the Hill, I find to be... I, I watched a little bit, I found it to be uneven. It felt like the guy who did Beavis and Butthead was just doing something yeah. else. And it wasn't this Which one came first? Beavis and Butthead came first? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm saying Friends is overrated. Which I also thought Peavis and Butthead was is funny in memory, but if you sat and watched the whole episode, you wouldn't think it was. Well, to be fair, I think Mike Judge is more than the guy that did. Oh, I agree. Oh, I agree with that. He did office a lot of things, but I'm saying that felt like just not as good as Beavis and Butthead to me. Was it kind of the whole point of Beavis and Butthead to kind of tie in uh, music videos and a little more? I think so. It was on MTV. You know, you know what gave me that impression? It was on MTV. Every once in a while, they would cut to uh, music videos. They would right. set it up, and they'd hit the, kind of hit the post, really. They would make fun of it. Yeah, it was very funny. It was Beavis cool. Butthead was a funny show. Yes. The movies were good, too. The movie was good. Yes, it was. It was very funny. Yeah, I like King Where of the Hill. Grand Canyon? I feel like it's actually properly rated King of the Hill. Like a, like a good, not great show. Where would you... What great show... I, I'm with you on Friends. I, I didn't watch it. So what great show would you put it above? <sighs> I would rather watch two hours of King of the Hill than The Simpsons. No shot. I think that's fine. I don't have a problem with that take. That's fine. Yeah. You agree. You're going to sit and talk about that tomorrow with Craig? <laughs> we might have to run through some of this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. somebody's going to get their, you know, some sort of surgery, I mean, reassignment surgery. I would think you can do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, will, that always uh, happens. Okay. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. How many How many episodes were there? They had a good run, right? Oh, I think it's coming back. King of the Hill is? Yeah, they're doing uh, a... Well, I don't think they have to do that. That's going to stink. Like yeah, that. I don't think they have <laughs> to do that. You, yeah. Is it really? You got yeah. your wish, my yeah, time. Great. I don't know. I wasn't asking Jesus. for that. Better, better. than 60. Really? Yeah, 13 seasons. What's the better King show? King of uh, the Hill, Montante, or King of Queens? King of Queens is a great show, too. Thank you, buddy. Uh, does that bother you at all, Mike? That a moron like that thinks it's a great show? Or not? I don't know. That's who, that's who it's for. I'm not, I don't think it's a highbrow... <laughs> Type of show or anything. Okay. I, uh, I, I enjoy the art of the sitcom. Sure. Punchline, yeah. audience likes it. We're all in this together. There's yeah. family beef between the Montantes and the the father of the wife of the show. Jerry Stiller? No, no, no. His wife. Leah no. Remini. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, oh. The, oh, the, the father sign. of Leah Remini. Yes, in real life. In real life. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. He's About a cocksucker what? from what I've heard. <laughs> he's a homosexual? <laughs> no, no, he, maybe. I don't know what he's... Oh. I don't, know. I, don't, I don't think he pays this back. This is a Scientologist from dad. He owned yeah. an asbestos a, removal he's company. He's a cocksucker he's from a, what I heard. He's a cocksucker from, from what I heard. heard. Because <laughs> my, Who is my, your source? My, 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 one of the very few yeah. things I spoke with my father was this. Because I remember I was watching. So you're taking your dad's I was like eight, this. nine years old watching the show. And he's like, oh, you know, this guy's, this guy's father's no good. Because the, the Montanti family business well, was to be, asbestos to be, removal. To be clear, the cocksucker is your take. Not I'm, your I'm throwing that in there. Your dad didn't say I'm cocksucker. I'm flaring it up. I'm saying you, Okay, I got you. I'm just trying to get the story. Cocksucker. Story. Yeah, because he, he was a competitor back in the day. Oh, your dad was in the asbestos business. Yeah, the family, yeah. They're family rooted business. in Sicily. What's that? They were rooted in, rooted in Sicily. Okay, so this was a, this was a competition. Yeah. Oh, well, so... I mean, do you think maybe he would say that your dad's a cocksucker? Yeah, I'm sure. He, uh, yeah. Like what, uh, what, what was he like doing? Dirty, dirty pool? Like business? I didn't lines? get, I was young, so I didn't get too, I just remember it stood out to me. That I was just Did enjoying you the show. In a room with your dad? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> one of my probably t three so members you, I remember. So you were very young. Mm -hmm. King of Queens is on TV and your father points to Leah Remini and says, <laughs> that woman's father is a cocksucker. I, I added in cocksucker. <laughs> you I remember Jerry Stiller? <laughs> no. He was like, yeah. Mike, you should, Mike, you should be very offended by that. <laughs> he kidnapped Frank Costanza. That's, Art, that's Arthur Spooner, right? <laughs> yeah. A real life father. I remember, stood out to me. He's like, yeah, you know, terrible, bad guy. Really? Yeah. Wow. Do we have any, Scumbag. any issues with him at all legally? Have we seen uh, Coleman or not? Not that I've seen. Huh. Maybe... It's maybe just the competition in the asbestos I, business. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. They were, they were going for the same market. Yeah. I can see that. Also, uh, oh, Cuomo, yeah, there's more. Mm -hmm. King of the Hill, or do you want to stay on this? I, I, I think, I, I'm feeling the King of the Hill take is going to be way more interesting than this. Go no, well, no, no. <laughs> no, guys, I want to hear it. No, hear no, it. I'm out of King of the Hill takes. Okay. That was a joke. I know you're taking, uh -huh. hold me up on it. Um, Cuomo's right, now, right, now, right now, a man is screaming his phone for not uploading fast enough in a parking lot in Delaware. <laughs> Mario Cuomo's father, before he was governor, <laughs> yeah, was our it. family accountant. Uh huh. Excuse He's me. a good guy. His sons are terrible. Excuse gotcha. me, nurse. I know this is a long shot. Is there a Samantha here? <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a mask, like under his chin. <laughs> we should have like the sniffing dogs, like a subway sniffing dog at the hospital to find Samantha. You know, I don't know. Uh, Mario Cuomo's father. Was, was our family's accountant. Was your family's accountant. Yeah. Wow. wow. Before he got into politics. He was okay. Yeah, he was good. The, the son's, you know. The old man was okay, you're saying? Yeah. He Mar was good. Governor Cuomo. Mario Cuomo. He was fine. How do you know that? You would have hated him if you were, like, if he was governor right now in your age now, you would hate him. He would have loved his slogans. That's true. Oh, didn't he have a super <laughs> problem? Yeah, what was it? Did he call the vote, other one? Vote uh, for Cuomo, not the homo. <laughs> That's an <laughs> You don't have those anymore. <laughs> Catchy. Uh, Jeez. Talking about it years later. Gus was, Gus was wishing his last name was Cuomo if he's going for the you know best producer. Case. 
<laughs> took a while, but I got there. <laughs> would, you, would you see that on TV? Like for, for his actual I mean, campaign? I when I was younger, but yeah, I guess. That's unbelievable. What are you laughing at, Cole? Got me. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> it's slow nice, burn. <laughs> right. We'll get there. Jesus. Uh, oh. God, I hope there's traffic for Justin. The <laughs> <laughs> well, I, even I, who was like giddy with excitement about this, I did say... You're probably going to have to drive through New York like at rush hour. Oh, and he's no, like, he, he goes, I got it handled. He's got to go tap, go tap and see. Drive the extra 40 minutes. Still anyway. awful, though. Like, if you yeah, tap and see not a good time. Or you know what it is? Ties all in. The Mayo Cuomo Bridge. That's true. They changed it from the old, uh, what was that? Um, tap and No. Yeah. Well, tap and see is now the Cuomo? It was oh, a tap and see to Governor Mayo Cuomo Bridge. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, uh, I'm going to look up some movies for Justin. Christiana Delaware movies, because there was a theater there, as I recall. Maybe go see a movie this afternoon, Mike. Kill some time. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, they have a, they have a nice one at the mall. I thought so. He's probably already seen the Marvels, right? I'm yeah, guessing. maybe not the newest one. I think you'd like Oh, there's that young girl. Oh, right? Justin's in business, guys. <laughs> What's he? Uh, He's at the hospital. 11.50 a.m. Paw Patrol. The movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Foot long at Subway, the foot long at the theater. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. You guys, snacks are on me. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> will he Will he get himself a... He might, I mean, you're there. You got to get a sandwich at Subway, right? Yeah. If yeah, you're you going to. all the way there, yeah. you ain't got to. You'd probably be like, nah, I didn't really feel it. It's such a just thing. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not. Why? Why'd you say that? What? What would you do to salvage that trip? First off, you never make the trip, but you get, do you stop at like, one of, like a cheesesteak place? Something just... Cheesesteak place. It's on your way back. I don't like cheesesteaks. Um, you got. I would, go, I would go to that mall. I've stopped at that mall several times driving across the country. It has a nice, uh, has a decent food court. I think it has a Chick Fil A in that food court. Mm. Okay. There's a. I like California Pizza Kitchen. Uh, there's a Barnes and Noble. There's a movie theater. A little stroll. It's probably a nice day down there. I might go by the water, take a walk. If I didn't run, maybe do a run. I don't think I'll be doing any of that. It's well, hilarious to give Justin, like, hey, I know you're in Delaware, and it seems like you've just wasted your time. Here's a list of chains you can stop by. Chick-fil-A? I think Justin be experiencing the local cuisine. I could be wrong. That's fair. I don't know. I don't know. Another reason why Delaware might be, I'm just, I think they are, they're kind of Southern. They have Southern chains there. Keep like pushing what? this narrative. I want to say, yeah. You realize uh, it's not <laughs> South, right? I don't know. The where I was in that part of Delaware. Okay, we spoke to the two I, people. That, their, their accents are not so, Southern at all. This part of Delaware. He was visiting John from Scranton. I'll He's just like, call, I'm call, call, we'll, we'll just call a random Delaware place. Let's do it. Well, though. can I get, can I give you an exact location? Sure. Go Subway. Let me turn on Delaware. my phone. <laughs> they do have like a phone. like a Culver's. I want to say it's like C C View C C Port Delaware. It was Southern as shit. It, how can I mean? How I, Southern can it be? I, I, I can. I, I'll I mean, say this though: it probably has a closer to a Southern feel than North, like meaning like Philly, like New York, or Boston. Yeah, probably. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I got it. Just looks like a shore town. Oh. Yeah, it's probably really nice. I, you know, seaport. Because like looking at the dining at the Christiana Mall, it's Carvel, Charlie's, Chick Fil A, Chipotle, oh, Five Guys, Chick-fil-A. Yep, Popeyes, I mean, Thai Kitchen. It's like your st- it's standard. Mall restaurants. There's oh, probably a lot of Virginia uh, outpouring. Virginia, West Virginia. I was closer to the Maryland part for sure, but was it uh, Seaford? That's kind of yes. where, yes. where I think. Once you kind of get into yes. Maryland, you're sort of getting into that world. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. a little bit. Delaware, I would say no, but you might be right. I guess. Who, who are we calling? What are we doing? Call a convenience store in Seaport. Don't tell. I, I'm please for the show. Please. 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 Do that tomorrow in he your said, own time. But he said it so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He can't be mad at that. Fine. Call somewhere there. A convenience store, supermarket, Subway. In that oh. town? Yes. Call it. Wow. <laughs> Justin answered the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've assumed operations. Hi, it's Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fact that he's down there. He should definitely spend a couple of days now. <laughs> Got it. He's doing nothing now, obviously. It'd be great if he just moved there. He doesn't like, really like it. You know what? I set up shop in Harrington, Delaware. <laughs> if you're Justin now, you might as well just go to Chicago and plead for your job. <laughs> it's a straight shot, you know? Big Cat thinks he's intern Will. Yeah. He's like, who True. are you again? Justin just said the video's up. Oh, yeah. the video's up. All right, let's hear it. He's been risk, basically risked his life for this. So let's <laughs> give the shot. Sam isn't here. It's just four minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> it's, like a sil- it's, like a, it's like an art film. Uh, Sounds great. I went to go see, uh, see Sam. <laughs> it does sound like the Old West. It does. <laughs> tumbleweeds. Hello. Yeah. I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? 
Awesome. Are you Sam? <laughs> Are you Sam? <laughs> Jesus, that's an aggressive way to get oh, Jesus. Is she off today? Are you Sam? She don't. She doesn't work here anymore. Oh yeah, I know she worked yesterday. <laughs> that's like that's the, the creepiest oh, possible thing. Oh no, oh, I know. Oh, I, I know she worked yesterday. <laughs> I don't know who she is, <laughs> but I know she worked. Just to add that music. <laughs> no, that's this is call? all the background. That's that's the subway yeah. music. Yeah. Can we play that or no? I mean, eh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Good. Nice. Oh, I, I. Oh, nice. I knew. I knew. I knew. The she song was is on incredibly past, fitting. Like, by what is that? Can't hear. Making my way yeah. downtown. <laughs> <laughs> And now he's homebound. <laughs> so. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's fun. Oh, I drove all the way from Boston to see her. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> he gives a look to the camera as he says that. What a creep. Fucking idiot. He should be arrested just for being that fucking dumb. <laughs> Just to see her. Fucking John Wilkes Booth? What is he doing? <laughs> I wonder, this woman probably yeah, texted Sam. Oh, for sure. <laughs> what is running through Sam's head right now? I'd be terrified. For obviously, all kidding, because I've only known this woman has got, like, gone through stuff in her life. We have no idea. Maybe she's had a stalker. <laughs> think, about, think about this for women. She, she's on the show. We're fucking around with her for 30 seconds. You have some psycho drive down the, from Boston to go see her. They have the pervert who's like, yeah, I think she's hot. <laughs> like, she's like, oh, God, no Gre fucking... Greg is back. Yeah, right, right, yeah. I thought he was in prison. You know, you got Montante be like, Jesus, I wonder if she's got big tits. <laughs> oh, I've never said that about a woman. <laughs> Go There's got to be a coworker there who was able to connect the dots. Because that, that was a... No, no, no. What if the shift didn't even coordinate? There is, there is, there's got to be someone who was there yesterday. Remember the second time you called back, there was a crowd around. You think there's like a subway, like ombudsman? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> she has, no, this is not a crazy Mike, talk. there was a crowd, okay? There was a the crowd. Second was a back, the second time you called back. The Mike, second time. Mike, there the was a crowd. What are you laughing at, Augustus? Mike, you know I'm right. There was, a, there was at least 50 he's people. He's angry. I am. What do you guys, how do you not get what I'm saying? You know I'm right. There's someone there who's like, hey, that big kid with the red hair, <laughs> that's, connected, that's connected to yesterday. Hold right. on. So Justin, so Justin walks out of the subway, and one, say, let's say it's two women working there. One says to the other, the light bulb was off. You know, Sam got. Two phone calls yesterday. <laughs> yeah, well, you, heard, like you heard you heard the crowd, Mike. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Sam answered the phone twice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the the second, we weren't calling for Sam. <laughs> the second time she answered, it was different. Now, now she was, you know, her, her guard. She, she was up. She knew it. What was the crowd sounding? I didn't hear that sound. There's giggles. There was a giggle from another person. Yeah, but that person might not also not be working today. There is someone who worked that shift yesterday. Is working today. Someone's oh, working at why? Why? Why do you say that? Someone's working at Subway full time. And is there back to back? Yeah, days. but what if they're working today at like two? They're there. <laughs> <laughs> so you so you think somebody's lying? I'm saying everyone's confused, and then as he walks out, he, they does that they make think, does that make somebody looks like Justin walking and saying, "Oh, I drove from Boston to see her." Any less frightening for that person? <laughs> no, probably makes it more frightening. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three and six, looking mighty fucking nice. <laughs> okay, let's back. Uh, uh, let's get back to this. Uh, now I'm like, this is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Go ahead. I did. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, well. Oh, this is disappointing. <laughs> well, that's okay. Um, I have another question, too. Um, oh, good. On the, uh, the bread. Uh, thank you. Is it Italian herb and cheese or Italian herbs and cheese? Is there an S on herbs? Now, this woman should be allowed to shoot him. Like, <laughs> yeah. this, 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 In Delaware, I think you can. Like, if yeah. she shot him and went to court and he said the thing about driving all night to see her, like, she would probably walk. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And I would testify for her, yeah. honestly. If Zimmerman got off, she's getting off. What's that? If Zimmerman yeah, got right. off. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, what was her answer? What, what to that question? What, 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 what were the signs, point, what were the signs point, behind this? <laughs> she's, she's a white woman, so what's, what's the signs behind this? Let's, let's not get too caught up in that. <laughs> I'm just saying, he is a. Go ahead. What's his say out there? Oh, goodness, I don't have the best eyesight. Uh, da, 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 da. It says Italian herbs and cheese. Oh, so there's multiple Oh, she's kind herbs. of taunting him. Well, she should be. Okay. Just... Well, uh, did Sam mention yesterday that she got a phone call? Oh, oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> He's this fucking creep. Says, Please the, tell me an employee the, jumps in. The creepiest way. To, <laughs> did Sam tell you she got... All right, Montante might be right. <laughs> I can be vindicated. <laughs> I'm gonna say she's gonna say no. Oh, I know she's gonna say I don't. Yeah, I don't the know. Fuck, it wasn't working yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> she might. Yeah, she may have said it to somebody. Go ahead. From did Sam mention yesterday she got a phone call from a podcast? She said that. She said that was a weird call. 
Oh. Is that like weird? Oh. My Tante's right. I take it all back. You no, know, more like weird. Like, like she's like, I'm not working somewhere. We're in government hiding. <laughs> and if somebody shows up, you know, fucking arrest the guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Go ahead with this. Idiot. I don't remember. She's getting nervous. Oh goodness, no! I don't think it was a spam. It was a, it was a great, great man, Kurt. Oh, well, yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, our cult leader drove all the way from Boston. We, 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 we established that, Justin. Uh, who knows? Okay. Who knows well, what? Can I get a uh, six inch? <laughs> <laughs> after that, after all that drive, he's going for a six inch also. See, so Mike had this in his pocket and he said Justin was going to be number two on the list. <laughs> did you already oh, know that when you said that? You know that what? I, I guess I did. Some yeah. I wasn't Some thinking yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I guess I did. I will say this about Justin. Nobody else would do it like that. Like Tim would make that drive, but it would be... He wouldn't be as, Justin's a perfect creep for that. <laughs> yeah. He just is. Yeah, he's yeah, so yeah. unaware of what a creep he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I like to think he's played a character. <laughs> Jesus, go ahead. What sandwich did he get? Uh, let's find out. White meatball. Oh, good order. You guys got a lot of people from Boston coming in? <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> well, one of the masters of small talk. <laughs> You guys get a lot of people from Boston. Yeah, we, we check. <laughs> Are you from Boston? No? Jesus. I mean, nobody ever says yes. I'm looking for a buddy to ride home with me. <laughs> if you're the only one who needs a lift. A lot of people from Boston. <laughs> what a moron. Um, uh, go ahead. Is there any more? Yeah, there's still two <laughs> minutes oh, left. Good, good, good. <laughs> so far, I would say this might be worth it. This is a great video so far. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's awesome. it's be better if we didn't play it. Better than KMS. Yeah. We should not have played <laughs> it. Anymore. Go ahead. What kind of cheese? Uh, can I get provolone? You want provolone Uh Yes, please. I, I have another question, too. Um, oh, my geez. my buddy who lives up in Massachusetts, he says that, like, uh, like five out of every seven Subway franchises are owned by oh, people Jesus of Christ. Indian descent. <laughs> is this one owned by Indian descent? or? Is it's this not. one owned by Indian <laughs> descent? Hold on, how did Justin know? Oh, he I guess he's listening live. Yeah, I guess he was listening, he was listening live. live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's insane. He's not that insane. He said it like us too. <laughs> owned by Indian descent. <laughs> <laughs> this store is owned by Indian descent. Welcome. <laughs> it's reparations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess this woman does have a great answer on this. Maybe we'll see. I I just I just didn't know. Oh no. I mean, like at some point, this woman's gonna say, "Get the fuck out of here!" Like, I'm gonna point past. I have no problem with her. She's an asshole, damn it. Like, <laughs> He's just waiting for a sandwich. Yeah, just, just, Justin's sitting there. That's fine. <laughs> so it's herbs. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like how Justin and Samantha's date would go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I just get lettuce? Jalapenos. Hold on, I don't, I don't want. I don't want. Lettuce on the meatball. There's another bit, but lettuce on the meatball. What stuff? the fuck? Yeah, that's wild. That's crazy. That's, that's wild. Yeah, that's, well, you, you know what? The, uh, we finally arrived at the point of the video where Justin's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get <laughs> basil. That's honestly the craziest thing. He could have crawled there, and that'd be less crazy. Now Oregano. this is a little unusual. Yeah, he kept Samantha in the trunk, and I would say that's not. Oregano, lettuce, and jalapenos. Meatball Jalapenos. sandwich, meatball, cheese, nothing. That's else. it. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's and even metal. cheese, I'll, even cheese. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Cheese, I'll give you. If somebody wants cheese in a meatball sandwich, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, but like, absolutely. Lettuce on a meatball sandwich. Criminal. But I'm at. But like, w you and I are both plain eaters. But jalapenos is very weird. Crazy. No? Am I wrong? That's, that's the one. Uh, meatball. Part. You like yeah. a mayo on You can add that, that to a cheesesteak or a chicken cheesesteak, but a meatball has no place. Yeah, that's, that's very unusual. Crazy. Maybe it's different down the deep south, though. <laughs> <laughs> Who's to say? Uh, yeah, can I get a side with grits with that, please? <laughs> what are y'all doing there, honey? Huh? They have Waffle houses in Delaware, too. Yeah, just load up some collard greens. And That's true. That is true. They do. They do. Waffle also is... Sweet tea on the side. Over. You think it's over? Yeah. Uh, like, I like it, but the idea of it's better than... Like, it's yeah. just a waffle. Like, and it's like... I like I like it, though. I like going yeah. in there. They're down Absolutely. to scrap. They might be the exact opposite of Chick-fil-A workers. What do you mean? Waffle House workers. Yes. In what, in what sense? They're always they just, just they ready just to scrap. Prison. They're always ready to fight. Yeah. Oh, they're always out. Well, good. I like that. Yeah. That's and that's the allure. Yeah. If you see, if you go to the, like, uh, you know, any Reddit where like people are freaking out and, yeah. and it's at a restaurant, yeah. Waffle House is a pretty good. Oh, yeah. is that right? Yeah. 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 
Well, Justin's going to find out. He's going to have <laughs> breakfast there tomorrow somewhere. So, yeah. Go ahead. And green peppers. Oh. Oh, my God. This is a terrible Box sandwich. sandwich. Box <laughs> is he purposely doing this to himself as punishment for this <laughs> failure? I respect it. Oh. Yes, please. Ricin, if you have any. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the next bit of small talk. <laughs> we get a soda and a chips or no? I'm gonna get a large drink too. Yeah, I there, yeah there we go. Perfect. How much? 40, 40 ounces? 40 ounces? <laughs> that is a gigantic. That is too much. That's, That's an, an elephant? That's an enormous. <laughs> 40, I, let me hear that. Is that what she said? <laughs> this video started with him as a psycho that's gotten progressively crazier as it's gone on. That's not the standard Subway large drink. If Justin says next, I want 3,000 bags of chips, it'll be, I, I, like, what's what's next? A six inch sub with a 40 ounce soda is just not proportional. <laughs> that's crazy. That's like, that's like when the eight foot guy dates like a three foot, you know, yeah. it's like weird couples. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> let me hear that again. Did she say 40 ounces? <laughs> I'm gonna get a large drink too. Okay, 40 Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> You're gonna get the 40 ounce too. You should usually get that, maybe urban cheese. Is that like a big gulp combo. size? <laughs> I well, think a big gulp's 44. So it'll be okay, essentially, so the yeah, same. Yeah, essentially the same. What? Like is it normal? Like so, if I go to the subway, I get a the big gulp's 44 ounces. I'll get the six oh, inch. Shit. I'll get the bag of baked ladies, and I'll get the 32. small drink, like the small. You know what I'm talking about the small yeah, subway yeah. drink. Mm -hmm. What's that? 16 ounces probably? I guess so. Yeah. 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 That's two and a half. What? Or small might be 12. Jesus Christ, three, almost four that's, times that's the size? Uh, I mean, that's, well, for, 20, that's good for pissing it's 20 ounce. Okay, to, so twice the size of that? To yeah. Montante's point, like getting a six, a six inch, that's also like I'll have a shrimp cocktail and 14 drinks, please. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> also, a big gulp is only 32. <laughs> only th Jeff D. Lowe just Jesus. texted me and said, well, Mike won't like it, but he's, Jeff, it'll be playful sometimes. And lost in all this is that we're beginning to show Montante endorse the idea of food taste coming back up to your mouth, which is true. <laughs> I'm trying to show my mentality basically saying he likes his own vomit. No, now, I'm saying. Now, if, you have a good, if you have a good Nathan's dog two hours later. I don't, I don't even remember Montante saying We're this. talking about Chipotle. I was like, I'm getting, oh, so, yeah, Montante's yeah, like, yeah. Montante's like, that's great. Kind of a plus. <laughs> yeah. no, that's right. You know what I'm saying. You gotta have a little hot dog come, you know. No, I don't up. know. Because it's like you had another dog, but you didn't have the calories. You but just had a little. But, little but, you, but it's sick. It's like, like. No, it comes up. It doesn't physically come up. But it's, it's, the same, it's the same thing as vomit. I stand by it. You're saying like you burp and you well, taste you know, like, yeah. you know when you have like You know when you have like indigestion? Yeah. And you burp it and you don't feel great about it? Oh. Montante's like, oh. Montante's yeah. like, oh, this reminds me of the meatball hey. and lettuce sandwich I had. <laughs> Did I just oh. in there? Come on. I would, never, I would never order that. <laughs> oh, my God. That's maybe like a top five worst take ever. Jesus. I'm in saying specifically with hot dogs. Oh, I think <laughs> specifically hot dogs, it's... Even it worse. worse. Than than by that might be top five. Worse. I stand by it absolutely. If you said what's the worst f food you want to throw back up, I would think hot dog. I could do it intentionally. <laughs> like those it Costco stuff. dogs. It's oh. come back to you naturally. <laughs> we always, we always say the show everything ties in. Twi Twitter, Subway, Delaware man chokes to death on meatball sandwich. <laughs> Is that true? Well, yes, they found meatball and lettuce. <laughs> <No>. in his, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, Yo was, uh, was arrested for the murder of that? Leader Remini's father. <laughs> Great cocksucker. Cock finally, finally caught up to him. It says on his mugshot, cocksucker. Uh... <laughs> we're, oh, we're not done with the Justin call. <laughs> no, we still have 40 seconds. <laughs> 40 seconds. Oh, it's funny. Uh, uh, an idol of mine, he actually, he says the Subway Cups are oh, the best no, size. Jesus, no, 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 no. You don't, you don't want to be implicated in this. <laughs> yeah, you may not want to play the rest of <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're Justin's catcher in the rye. <laughs> oh, he definitely reminds me of people who've read that book. I'll say that. Uh, go ahead. Just play it. The Subway cups are the best size for when you take long road trips. Oh, to put it in your holder? No, not to put it in your holder. <laughs> You know, you just put it outside. You just get out of here. This is something of a normal person versus an abnormal person. Her reaction is, oh, put it in the holder. No, no. it's not. Go ahead. No, you <laughs> idiot. As they say. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me hear it again. Let me hear it again. Oh, put it in your holder. No, not to put it in your holder. To actually go to the bathroom. In, as they say. Okay. Yeah. As they say. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Okay. As, as they say. <laughs> to, go, to go to the bathroom. <laughs> He's Mike's favorite moment ever on the show. I think. <laughs> this might be the greatest moment in show history, this odd thing. <laughs> what a show. Worth it. What a show. Oh, totally. He nailed it. But I almost wish we didn't play it. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's tough. Well, that's the thing is knowing this was coming, it was hard for me to sure. decide what was better. Should I have said to you, hey, just you so know, you know, you know Justin's doing right. this thing, right. we right. shouldn't even play it. No. <laughs> what if I never looked at my phone? Did you ever mention it or no? Gus eventually would have caught it. That would have yeah. been worse, though, if you'd be like, hey, I wonder what Justin's up to. <laughs> yeah, <that> was, <laughs> at the end of the show, I probably would have done like, I don't know. Anything from this Justin. Now means, this now means we have to do a show from that subway. Yes. <laughs> like, that is happening. Samantha, this woman, Justin, Gus, Mike, my I'll, Tante. I'll tell you what's happening uh -huh. is now you're going to have a war with Subway because there's going to be some weird rules that uh, won't allow it. Oh, for it. sure. Franchise, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And the Brady thing, he hates me. Yep. That's true. We can do it quietly from there. Justin's friends, this woman loves Justin. He's charming her pants off. <laughs> well, they're a little, right little, little, the yeah. little nicer down south. Yeah, I like that's the true. At least Justin had the decorum to say, you know, to go to the bathroom. And as they say. <laughs> as, as, wink, wink. <laughs> or as I just said. How much left? Uh, we've got about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I don't want to end. Sorry. Hold on. If Montante brings up, uh, Montante, sorry, if Justin brings up the Sopranos and ties in the Bill Belichick, <laughs> I think we've done it all today. And that man is Bill Belichick. <laughs> yeah. Is that all? Yep. Okay. Um, 878? Hold on. Do you follow all the Justin gets that big soda meatball and he doesn't get a bag of chips with that? Yeah. That's weird. Justin seems like a chips guy and seems like a cookie guy. For sure. Maybe, I was expecting the cookies. Maybe the mess on the fingers as you're driving or whatever. I know 78 is not a bad. He's, no, got a meatball, he's got a meatball sandwich, though. It's going to be messy anyway. That's true. I got a six-inch chips and just a regular drink yesterday, and it was like 11 bucks. Massachusetts. Six-inch chips. Oh, I, six inch and chips. Comedy, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But also, yeah. wouldn't you just get the chips so you'd have them for it's the long car drive ride back, back, right? Like, I kind of want Justin to stay there and meet some <laughs> He could definitely get arrested, though. Yeah. Like, this woman must be like, then we just called her. It was like at the hospital. This woman's like, what the fuck is going on here? I, yeah, I also don't think it's a great alibi to be like, no, he's with the podcast that called her. Right, right, right. <laughs> Go ahead. You've got a tip first, and then you can... 20%. Good. Got a boy. Nice. Uh, would you like a receipt? Uh, yes, please. Sure. What? What's a receipt? <laughs> Reimbursed for tax purposes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll be getting there. Yeah. Damn it. That's worth it. 879. That's it? Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You too. <laughs> that lady handled that very, very That's calmly. <laughs> wow. Uh, the, one of the greatest responses ever is, you know, to go to the bathroom and she goes, okay. 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 <laughs> As they say. As they say. <sighs> See, when Mike said that number two thing, he knew. That is, I, I, wasn't, was I wasn't consciously thinking, but yeah, you're right. I did know. I would hire Justin yeah. to just do shit like that. Like, he doesn't have to come in the studio. He doesn't have to worry about anything. I would pay him. I'd fire Gus right now. I'd pay him the money that Gus has to do stuff like that. Why would you need to fire Gus? Just because it'd be funny. Yeah, you got to fire up the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Gus, you understand. And you know, okay, you're right. like you guys are trying to get blood out of the stone when it comes to Trump. <laughs> Gus, you wouldn't argue that, right? I, I can't argue I mean, that. You just, I mean, <laughs> he's a fan of the show first what you did yesterday with Subway versus what he did. Yeah. I mean, he drove all the way down. That's exactly what happened. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's turning around and going. Coming home. Are we, are we sure? Oh, I guess we are sure. It's, just, it's the Oh, we have like six o'clock tonight? It's not, it's not a phony thing because he, he would. The woman he wouldn't have alerted was, me to it. And Justin would never. Justin, he would never. No, Justin, it doesn't seem like a bit. Justin yeah. would not do it. He would that. never fake no. that. That doesn't seem like a bit to you, Coleman? Oh, and the woman no, knew like a, like a It's not a yeah, fake, yeah, fake not bit. A put on. What's that, yeah. Mike? The woman, on the, the woman was like, right. oh, yeah, she got a call yesterday. Right, right. Unless he built a whole like studio like that, <laughs> it's constructed overnight. It's possible with him. He built the deck. So he's that's true. So he's now turning around. Okay, and then he'll be back here tonight. And that went way better than hours. I could have anticipated. It. That was brilliant. Yeah, magnificent. Yeah, it might have helped them hosting yes. the show and reacting to the didn't sound. Hurt. It was it like, like hurt. watching a young Nikola Tesla work. <laughs> <laughs> um, does he live with his grandfather? Uh. I don't think so. You know think so. No, oh, I, I, I'm not. Oh. I, I thought he remember. does, no? I thought it was like, yeah, common. He did. I can't remember. Especially if he says, like, you know, what'd you do today, son? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, Dad, yeah. He'd be proud of me, Grandpa. He'd be proud of me. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, it's something. It's a good deal for me from in 2023. For people sandwiches. That's very good. Yeah, in this economy. Well, that's so they, they, they don't have the, the sales, right? 
Oh, Delaware. I think you're oh, right. Oh, that's true. So you throw the yeah. chips in there, it's what, 10 bucks probably? Yeah. 10, 15 or something? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. not bad. It's just it's the South. Yeah. We're going back South, boys, at some point. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to try and do a live he show. Uh, he lives with his grandfather. Thank okay, you. yeah. I couldn't, <laughs> remember. I couldn't, I couldn't remember. <laughs> Is, so we, we're going to do a live show. So you don't think we'll be, I think you're probably right, Mike. They won't allow, yeah, it'll be Papa Gino's all over again. Or oh, Friendly's. God or, damn it. Yeah. We've really battled with these franchises. Yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't rule it out. No, I think I'm. No. A, I mean, the su subway smell after like an hour might make me sick. Maybe you, we can Is find it, a venue across the street or something. Or the parking lot. Yeah, where Justin was. <laughs> yeah. Well, Justin can scout now while he's there. Right <laughs> behind the bush. Yeah. 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 Hospital. We can do where Justin is right now. So we have this bedroom. We could try that. <laughs> He's trying on her clothes right now. It's fucking walking around her house, probably. What do you do? You think Justin is already on the move, like left, or is he still in? Justin's like a turn around and go back guy. Don't yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. <laughs> He's gonna sit there in New York at like five o'clock. <laughs> Right at the worst time. Right, yeah, four to whatever, be three forty six. Like a, just an <laughs> absolute standstill. The George, it'll take the George Washington for some reason. For an hour and a half, he'll be stuck in that stupid Fort Lee eggs or whatever it is, and just dead. You, it is Fort Lee. Good it is Fort. Yeah. Oh, I know. I, I, they've driven across the country many times. I know the whole thing. Well, I mean, great Justin moment, like sneaky one of the great moments in show history. Out of nowhere <laughs> at the end of the show. So, what can you say? Uh, what, what, what's going on with Montante's world? Uh, right now it's on a little hiatus. I'm, uh, uh -huh. currently the host of the Jerry Callahan. Show. <laughs> oh, sure. No, I understand. Oh, okay. I don't want to do both. Sure. Um, it's tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow and Friday. Just you and Craig. I, I might read out, oh. reach out to Alice or something. Okay. Alice, by the way, has been on the show before. That's why. Um, which show? I guess she's filled in for Jerry in the past. Oh, is that right? Okay. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they request Alice, not Tom. Oh, is that true? For what it's worth. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, yeah, there's so not much going on there. Okay. My well, is very quiet when I ask him about that. Well, well, I'm trying thing, to get fucking murdered. Oh, didn't, I don't didn't like Tom. Didn't you tell me some shattic thing before the show that I found it bizarre? Oh, oh. yeah. It's the best part. Uh, you know, okay. it's the uh, it's the wicked hot sauce hotline thing. They take, they play messages. Oh, yeah. They I, play, don't, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're They talking play about. messages, and Steve. Oh, I don't, I don't know this. So uh, someone will call in. It's either two people. It's either Steve from Gleister. Gloucester, oh, whatever. he's a big, or, he's a big fan or of Tim yeah. and Ken. Those are the two calls they have. Right, and they'll call in. It's and a they, Shattuck show. They react to it like well, it's they a, leave like, a voice like it's a live call. Oh, they do. Like, it's is so, it a joke or not a joke? I don't That's know. what I asked, and he wasn't sure. Uh, I'm okay. I hate them. Honestly, <laughs> I hate Shattuck. Uh, Mike, I'll buy my project. What's going on? Thank you. It's yes. a Q's day. Uh, it is a Q's day today. Mm -hmm. If you're on the Patreon, come mm -hmm. watch with us. And uh, why are you laughing? The amazing Jonathan is on Patreon, and YouTube members can get it now, but it'll be out for free on Thursday. And then uh, the next episode that I think you'll be getting two weeks early because of Thanksgiving uh -huh. is uh, the roast of Patrice O'Neill. Oh, nice. Okay, yes. excellent. Good. Go subscribe. Uh, uh, anything else from you guys? Anything we want to promote here or no? New Mount Ra Mount Kirkmore tonight. Oh, exciting. Okay, good. It's uh, uh, third chairs. Oh, I saw that. Yes, yes, yes. Who's your, who's your, were you on Montante or no? Montante was on mine. No, were you on the episode? I'm sorry, Mike. Were you no, on the, no, no. You, who's on your list then, Montante? Whitney. Whitney. You don't count, right? No, Mike doesn't care. Yeah. I don't think, right? Whitney, no, I didn't. No. Yeah, that was against the rules. Whitney Mutt. Hmm. Patrick Ford's a little recently biased. I'll go David from Hull. A little. <laughs> He's been on twice. Bias. Three. Um, David from Hull? Yeah. No, oh, you're just picking your friend. I just stayed there. I just stayed there. I just stayed there three, you know, three times. Um, I like to follow Justin that receipt, like how quickly that'll be in the garbage or like buried back <laughs> to Justin, like, like the life of that you receipt. Could, you could auction that off at a Minifan event. Oh, some, sure. some psychopath oh. paid 500 bucks for it. For sure. Well, what would have been great is when me and Justin went to Maryland, Yeah. Uh, we pulled through like a Chick-fil-A or something, and I yeah. went to pay, mm -hmm. and uh, my card was declined because my credit card, like it was... Triggered that it was in Maryland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plumber's the fourth. So it would have been great Plumber. if it, in, in Justin's <laughs> yeah. video for 879, they were like, your card's been declined. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck there. Uh, what were we saying? Uh, oh, uh, the, no. So Clemmer. Clemmer. David from Hull. I mean, this is just stupid. Um, Has he been here once? He's been here three times, I think. Okay. Mm. Maybe he said your name three times. You think David <laughs> from Hull is one of the four Kirk, best? Kirk. <laughs> you think he's one of the four best third chairs in the history of the show? I was put on the spot. Okay. okay. Well, I like Coleman. You put me on the spot. I don't oh, know. You can't put, you can't what's their cheetah's number? What's you, can't put, you, you, can't you put yourself on? You can put yourself on. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't no. listen to myself. It's too bad. Sure. No, I don't blame you. I don't. I don't yeah. I'm not that dumb. I put Montante on there, I think. Clemmer. I don't count Mike. Well, Wait, Mutt. No, you have Mutt? You, this is where I'm. Oh, I'm surprised you agree oh, with yeah, Mutt. Was well, that your four? I thought that was my exact four. Yeah, I and think, I thought you would have pushed back and said Carabas. No, I put Carabas like fifth or sixth or something. That's where I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whitney's great. You have Mutt on there? 
No, I, in, in retrospect, David I probably, from should, over I probably should have put. I probably should have put Mutt. <laughs> I think the other guy's over. better than David from Hall. Yeah, Patrick guy. Ford. Danny? No, the Dan, yeah, I like Danny better. He's yeah, funny. he's never he's never been on here. Yes, he has. They, the two guys were on. Well, they were on together. That's they did, right. they did yeah, a good yeah, stream yeah. the other night to raise money for uh, veterans. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. No, I like both those guys. I have those guys back if they want to come back. I'm going to do their show at some point. They have, they have a new one last night. I like yes. the, vet, the Columbus uh, episode. Yeah, the veterans. I will, fucking win. Yeah, I will, though. I like those guys. All right. Well, we're back Thursday. And boy, you thought things were crazy today. <laughs> Mike Manansky, Steve from Gloucester on Thursday. Chris Clemmer on Friday. It never, ever. <laughs> when you think it's over, it's never over. I'm excited because I get to listen to these now. That's true. You get to hear Steve from Gloucester, who I predict. I'm with. I, I predict will not be here at the start of the show. Ah, come you on, can't Steve. Say no I to the skip. You have to be there. <laughs> it could what be an all time episode. He knows the rule. You can't say no to the skip. You have to be there. That's true. <laughs> it could be or it could be a total flop where he's just a, a wet noodle. Yeah. And, and then I got to then I got to yeah. talk to Mutt. Then you're fucked. Well, I hope he just brings that energy. That what is that a lot of energy? No, but no, I'm saying it's that, unique I'm, energy. I'm not saying that level of energy. I'm saying whatever that is. I hope he brings it. I, I so. hope that the guys give me an opportunity to show that I'm I'm not a one trick pony. Yeah, <laughs> that's, what I, that's a better we, we, way of saying we'll what do, I'm we will do our best, Steve. We will do our level best. Uh, so Mutt and Steve on Thursday, we thank uh, uh, Justin for joining us today, and the woman down at Subway. Anybody else we talked to or no? I think that's it. I think that was it. And then we had uh, the call from um, Adam Richmond. Check yes. us. Well, sure. Oh, right. I got you. Good job, Gus. Jesus. Christ. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a show for Justin today. Yeah. Incredible. All right. We'll uh, talk to you guys Thursday. Goodbye.